This is a Mustard City national announcement. Due to an unforeseen contagious virus, the local government bodies have dissolved. Please calmly evacuate your homes and head to the nearest military center for relocation. Martial law is now in effect, and we require your utmost cooperation for the smooth execution of emergency procedures. There is no reason to fear. Everything is under control. Rated C for cringe and may contain strong language. Alrighty, here's the deal. Us seven content creators were invited by Forge Labs to Mustard City to survive seven days in the zombie apocalypse. Each day, the zombies were going to get more and more deadly, with mutations every 24 hours. We were to survive all seven days and then reach a to-be-announced location for extraction. I was chloroformed by Forge Labs and bundled into the back of a Volkswagen Polo and dropped off on the northwestern side of the map by the stadium. When I awoke, it was nighttime, and I immediately found myself in a little spot of bother. No, 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 Oh wow. Okay, they are a lot slower than I thought they were. Unfortunately, I think having this much breathing room is not going to last very long. But at least for now, we can at least uh, sneak up on these guys here. How you doing, boys? To you too, buddy. It looks like we're in some kind of large car park, I guess. Yeah, they're still mild behind me. We're all good. Oh, is this a... is there a barrel? Oh, there is a zombie spawner underneath that car. Bap. 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 Come on. Hit him. <laughs> Here we go. Zombie apocalypse, man. You gotta punch the zombies. So I guess we gotta... Oh, wow. They really kind of hold up really quickly, don't they? You're so slow. You're so slow. As long as I have some big open space like this, I should be fine. It's when I go into the city that I'm gonna be worried. Alrighty, let's get some baby tools going. Boop. And a crafting table. Yes. Oh, jeez. These guys, uh... Ooh. This guy's got no arms. He doesn't have an arm to stand on. Wait, no, that's... Listen, all I'm saying is I wouldn't want Armless Jerry on my team if I was in a swimming competition. I'm not gonna lie, I am quite scared of getting <laughs> these materials. Every time I pick up one block, then I check to see if they're behind me. Here we go, just make some more planks. I really don't want to get cornered by these guys, especially the ones with the weapons. I'm pretty sure they could kill me quite quickly. A fragile pomegranate man. I am. And this time, I am making it my mission. I will not die. It will not happen. And now we are armed. Taste wooden axe. More of a club, really. Take that. I know these guys have a decent amount of- oh, there we go. Alright, we have our first weapon, we can at least keep the zombies at bay now. Oh, X no more. Oh, you know what would have been intelligent? To use the axe- ooh, I'll grab that. You know what would have been intelligent? To use the axe to gather more wood. Now I have to punch more trees. Me, big dumb. Oh no, I made a pickaxe! Oh, well, okay, well, I think there's stone over here. <laughs> oh man, can you make stone tools from bricks? This is my question. Hold your horses there, Jimmy. These look like cobblestone. Yes, they are stone. Cobblestone, stone, regular stone. Yeah, I big brain, me no Minecraft big good, yes. Alrighty now, third time's the charm? Yes, I did it! I have successfully created an axe. I have beaten my own stupidity. Oh, and some armor, excellent. Got myself some fashionable new drip for the holiday season. Well, lads, this has been terribly fun, but I do need to go and explore, so, uh, I guess I'll see you later. Hang on a sec, before I go, what is in here? Oh, hello. Why didn't I check this earlier? I could've just grabbed my stuff from here. Jeans. I do love denim. Fun fact for you guys, the human bite force is less than the tensile strength of denim. So for when the zombie apocalypse does indeed happen, saddle up in your best RM Williams, telling you right now. There's a sword here called Tire Iron. I'm having that. Oh yes, by the way, this is the skin we're working with for the zombie apocalypse. A moustached raspberry man. I spent a little bit of time pilfering through the boots of these cars, but did not find anything particularly interesting. I grabbed this rotten flesh here as it's the only food that we're gonna have plenty of for now. With my bounty of pocket lint dead flies and stale Pringles, I decided to head towards this tunnel here. As this map is thicker than a McDonald's milkshake, Sean gave us this map here to help us all get around. So this should take me to the city. Good god, man. I need torches. I cannot see anything. dum de dum dum de dum Yes, yes, it seems this is indeed the city. Looks like there's some kind of petrol station over there, and then we've got a truck over here. I see. Button! Well, that was disappointing. Give me your secrets, truck. Well, 
This was a short-lived adventure. There's, <laughs> there's nothing in here. You know what? Let's check the back of the truck. That's an idea. Aha, success. What is in you? Poison potatoes and a rabbit. A rabbit foot. Hooray. An avocado. Thanks. Oh, the truck was backed up to a supermarket. That makes sense. Let's, uh... Let's close that and block that off so no zombies can creep up on me while I'm checking these chests here. Oh jeez, well that's not a good start. That's a feature. That's a feature. Oh god. Oh wait, yes, apples. Tomatoes. Hooray, my favorite. So sadly it turned out that building was nothing more than a grocery store. And there was not much in there besides food. Wait, what's that in there? Oh my god. <laughs> Damn you, Michael. What, what are we short on? Uh, we're running out of thin mints at the front office, are we? Michael, you scared the bejesums out of me. Oh, that's right. Zombie apocalypse, not sharp apocalypse. I need to pay attention and focus up, otherwise they're gonna sneak up on me. But first, I need to see what this beverage is. What is it? Hello? Fruit smoothie. Instant health. Ooh. Yeah, I love that. Is it mango flavored? I will not eat it unless it's mango flavored. Oh, looks like we got another customer. Don't worry, I've worked in retail before. What's that? You want to talk to the manager? <laughs> I am the manager. Yeah, you see, the thing with dealing with customers is you've got to give them a strong hand or they won't respect you. Uh oh, uh oh, that's a fast boy. Run, run, run. No, 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 no baby zombies. Be gone. Ah. I, I can't, I can never hit these guys. You're so small. Get out, get out, leave. Just, oh, oh my God. Yes, yes, yes. Slow boys, whatever. Oh man, if the <laughs> when these zombies mutate, I feel like the small ones are going to be a big problem. So I've had this idea to slow the zombies down. I've been picking up these cobwebs, and I was just thinking, yeah, this see, it works perfectly. So you just stick them in the doorways, and then what are they going to do? Because their pathfinding will surely send them into the doorways, and then they'll just get stuck on the webs. And then in future mutations, if they can break blocks, then they'll they won't break the break the cobweb. And they'll just get stuck in it. Big brain. Hmm. Yes. All right. I'm just gonna deal with this last customer here, and then I am quitting retail for good. We have spent far too long in here. Honestly, these are some of the best customers I've ever seen. But I am quitting in the traditional manner, mining through the back wall. <laughs> After doing a little bit of exploring around the city, I did manage to notice that books were in plentiful supply. So I gathered up as many as I could because getting an enchanting table is definitely high up on my list of priorities right now. As night was falling, I didn't want to get caught out on the ground, so I pillared myself up and jumped on the roof of this building. This way, we should definitely be out of biting range until morning. I'm not taking any chances with this zombie apocalypse. Yep, so this is exactly what I was thinking about. They definitely hoard up far more at night, so night is definitely a lot more dangerous. I'm glad I'm not on the ground. Hang on, I've got a cheeky little idea here. Place a couple of blocks, and then we should be able to just pop down there. I, I hope their attack range isn't very long. Let's have a look. Nope, we seem to be good. Yes! Yes, let the smacking begin. Well, I get the impression that XP is not going to be a large issue. At least for now. But this is annoying. There's a child down there in golden armor that I can't hit. Damn it. Die, Timmy. Okay, well, he's pretty slow. I should be able to grab those giblets and then run off without him hitting me. Damn you, Timmy. Yep, now. Now's the time. Jump. Run, 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 run. Nope. Bad child. No, be gone. <laughs> yes. Uh, uh. He bapped me. Why won't you die? Oh, man. Okay, three hearts. I should probably not play this game any longer. Goodbye, Tim Tim, and good luck with the Fortnite regionals. I spent the rest of my daylight hours on the second day to gather up as much cobblestone as possible and also loot as many chests as I could find. Eventually, I stumbled across this building, which I think is a bank, and the bank was complete with a downstairs vault. I didn't want to head downstairs right away because I didn't want zombies walking up behind me, so I decided to check the upstairs first because if I needed an escape route, upstairs would be a lot easier. Easier as in I could just break a window and then my ankles. I can hear a zombie be somewhere. Oh, there he is. No, no, no. Oh, God. No. Tim, Tim, be gone. <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> oh, he's a slow. He's a slow boy. There you go, buddy. There you go. Upstairs, I managed to find a sword called Bank Manager's Sword. I'm gonna be honest, if I ever went into a bank and the bank manager had a sword, I would be quite confused. Oh, yes, Mr. Sneeve. I'm afraid your last payment was a little late. Oh, my emotion to room, Mr. Sneeve. Once I was done rummaging through the pantry, I grabbed up my crafting table and forge and headed down to the vault. Not gonna lie, I am very worried about getting trapped in here. We're gonna block this off. There we go. I'm sure that'll be fine. Override lock engaged. Insert digit code. Luckily, I know the password. Here we go. Yep, yep. Ooh, there's a hole in the floor. Uh, is that a trap? <laughs> I'm worried that's a trap. Let's get rid of some of these. 
I've decided I don't think this is a trap. That is good, <laughs> because I would have died. I've decided that this web is not enough, so I'm blocking it off. Alrighty, what do we have in here? Looks like we got a little bit of armor, so that's nice. Never mind, I can't seem to break it. Alrighty. Oh, I'm a filthy liar. Let's check real quick, there's no gremlins. No, I think we're good. Okay, what else do we have here? Uh, a book called The Ancient Sword. Um... And a sword called the Ancient One. I'm having you. Some say it's one of the most well-crafted swords in existence. What does the book say? Oh, that is a lot of words. Honestly, there wasn't much else down there. There was a lot of uh, gold blocks and emerald blocks, but I don't have the iron tool required to be able to mine them. See? It just disappears. Like my fa- I did however use the pathetic amount of gold that I did manage to gather to make a gold pickaxe. A slight and slightly meaningless upgrade from our smelly stone one. Oh, there appears to be a little hatch here called emergency exit. Let's have a look. Ooh, escape tunnel. Perfect. I was- I was worried about leaving through the top. A chest here in case of broken ladders. The ladder is not broken. Alright, but what does this do? Ah yes, it opens the hatch. Oh, there are zombies up there. I am shedding that. Ah, zombie. Nope, no, 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 nope. Alright, let's give the ancient one a, a whirl. Oh, he's stuck on the ladder. Get down here, boy. Smack. Bap. Bap. There we go. Three hits. Not bad. It seems to be fairly useful. Now the question remains, how do we get out of here? Do we go back up the ladder again, or do we, uh, just leave through the front way? I'm gonna chance the emergency hatch. Oh, no, no I'm not, no I'm not. <laughs> there are so many zombies. Yep, there is a there is a zombie party going on up there, I can hear it. <laughs> okay, we're not gonna exit through the emergency exit chute, because the emergency exit chute is too dangerous. Oh, hello. How the hell did you get in here? Be gone. So we're going out through here, which is probably the brainy way to do it. I think we keep heading in a direction for now. Hmm. Homelander's flag. Maybe I should go in here. A riot stick. That's a shovel. After rifling through that police car's laundry component, I decided to go into the police station. No entry. Try and stop me. Hello. Cobwebs. A glorious day. Food. I feel you, man. I feel you. I'm hungry. Now, there's an idea. I could get food. But now we don't have the coal to cook it. Me dumb. What do we reckon? Do we think that they can... Bucket! Ooh, hello. Is that like a city hall? That's a lot of gold. Gold that I can't mine. What does that say? Itac. Oh no. I don't know why I said oh no there. I'm scared of Itacs. They're like Tic Tacs, but I... Hello? Dooby dooby doo. Scooby dooby doo. Scoobington doobington. Hello, Jeremy. What you doing over there? Help! Help! I'm under attack! I'm on the roof. I'm actually not under attack, by the way. There's no need to rush. Unless you plan to attack me. In which case, stay away. Oh, then you're under attack. <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh. Oh, there he is. Ah! You alright? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Just looking for the stairs. Man, it's laggy over here. Oh my gosh! Oh, uh-oh. Uh-oh. You you're right? Oh no, I'm in trouble. Where are you? I don't know. I've lost your name tag. Are you still in the building? Yeah. Oh, hello. Okay, hold on, I'm coming in. Hang on. There we go. Good. Uh. Hang on, I should be using the bank manager's sword. Huzzah! Have at thee! Get good, kids. I'm trying to get a block in there. <laughs> oh, the baby zombie's getting through. Hang on. Uh, ow, that guy hurts. Oh, this guy really hurts. Oh, there we go. Children, eh? I know. <laughs> I tell ya. All right. Woo! Crazy. So you didn't go to the stadium? No. Oh, hi. I, um, I was too brave to go. Oh, okay. <laughs> yes. Yes, that's the story we're going to tell everyone. You want those boots? Yes. Feather falling? I'll have that. Oh, uh, actually, armor-wise, they're worse than my iron ones, but... Yeah, whatever. Feather falling's nice. I just I like the feather. Just in case I got a fall or jump or something. So are you, are you um, nearby? Are you? Yeah, I'm in the tallest building on the east side. East? Which way is east? Oh, it's that way. I got something for you back at my place. If you wanna, if you wanna come with. It, is it death? Uh, no. <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> I wouldn't do that to you. It's something I found and it's really cool. I'm excited. I'm excited to see it. And it'll help help you out. I found I found this. It's called the 50 cal rifle. I don't know <laughs> why, but it's pretty deadly. So you're just gonna chill up here, I guess, until. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah, just listen to the choir. Oh gosh, look at them. Yeah. They're hungry. It's like Black Friday. Exactly. <laughs> we don't American have any Black coupons. Friday. I'm sorry. Yeah. We're all sold out of PS5s. <laughs> yeah. Get your Rice Krispies somewhere else. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, these are ours. <laughs>
Okay, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna take a run for it over where the set no. says happy Hang now. On. Have you seen any block breaking zombies yet? No, not yet. I guess they must be spawning at later date. Now look at this. Oh, golden apple. Just right and, for the taking. And look at this. Bread. Yeah. <laughs> and regular apples. Yeah, Sean found me like within the first couple hours. And he's like, he's like, I'll show you where I live. I was like, okay. The children are immensely annoying. Oh, they are. And they're going to get real annoying too. Shadow led me on a delightful hike through the city, through the terrible terrain, up to a very nice looking high rise tower. Gotta say, you happen to choose very uh, pretty but dangerous locations for a base, Shadow. Okay, you got to stay here though, okay? Stay right here. Because I have, like, because people can steal stuff and I, I can't let you know where my stuff is. Oh, I see. So I'll be, I'll be right back. Now, where is that? I hid my stuff too well. Say, say out loud when you, it, it, usually when I'm like, when I've lost something, I will say out loud where I'm looking and uh, it'll help me find what I'm looking for. Oh, okay. Okay. Um, I'm looking out <laughs> beyond. Go on, go on. Uh, <laughs> oh, wait, wait. Now I remember. Hold on. Give me a second. I hid these too well. Shadow. Yeah. Oh God, Shadow, help me. Where are you at? I'm coming up your ladder. Okay, hold. Okay, quick, pull ladder down the ladder. I got something for. I got something for both of you. Oh, Steve. Good evening, sir. How are we? Hey, good to see okay, you. Okay, guys. Yes. I've been exploring. Yep. And I, I found something really cool. I found actually three of them. I already uh, consumed one, Whoa. but for you guys, I like to give you both one. Okay. Woo. Compound. Whoa. Should I drink it? What does it do? You drink it. It gives you permanent strength three. Oh! Holy hell. And this and wow. and this is free, you say? <laughs> uh, well, not free. <laughs> just just remember who gave it to you, that's all. Uh, I see. So an undescript favor, one might say. Yeah, you know where I found it? Where? There's a mansion up on the hill. Oh my god. <laughs> There's a there was a room. Hold on, I'll be right back. I got it. I'm hiding stuff. Yeah, no worries. Get, no. get, <laughs> uh, He's getting changed in there. Oh, Steve, here. See if you can crack this. So Sean gave me this mystery to solve. Sadly, I have the deduction skills of a wet rag, so I couldn't figure it out. If you have any ideas, though, put your answer in the comments. Have you been to the casino yet? So I found a casino, uh, which I'm planning on making my base. There's a machine in there that you can actually gamble with. You throw gold and you can win stuff. I uh, need one more piece of iron. You need one more piece of iron, do you? One, one single piece. Oh, there we go. Thank you, Steve. Oh, you got one? Yep. I'm just gonna find a crafting bench up here. Yeah, so you're rummaging through Shadow's drawers. Come <laughs> <laughs> on. Let's do a little think... sprint around. Shadow, you're not using this iron shovel, are you? <laughs> no, you go ahead. Here, I got something for you. Here, Sneef. Wait, what sword do you got? Uh, this is the bank manager's sword. <laughs> oh, what's it, do? what's it do? Does it give you any buffs? It might. I'm I'm not really certain because I have a I have another sword that says uh, that's called the ancient one, which is an, this iron sword, and it definitely has sharpness on it, but it doesn't say it has sharpness. Uh, Here, take take that sword and now put it on your hand and now go run. Oh, I dropped it. <laughs> <laughs> Am I running faster? Oh, I have, I have speed one. Yeah, you get boosted. Oh. Well, you can have it if you want. Oh, really? Okay, sure. Do you, well, you don't have any... I'm just figuring, you know, with the zombies... I, I, have, I have a bunch of swords. I, I already have one with that. And then I got a fireman's axe. Gives me attack nine, 15% movement speed. God damn. Oh my god. You got, uh, you got any fireman's food? <laughs> fireman's I, I, food? I have, I have a couple of riblets for you, Sean. Oh, you like? Anything I can eat on. Thank you. Oh, oh, oh! <laughs> just, just throw, throwing hot dogs at this man. Here, I'll show you guys the casino in the morning okay. if you want to go. Yeah. Uh, once it's light out. I don't think it's becoming light. I'm keen. I've got four golden ingots, so uh, let's take a spin on the roulette table. We might need to do it. take a little stroll over to the mansion if you haven't taken all the gold from it yet. I'm mosey, mosey on over. No, I haven't. I haven't touched. Don't. I, I only found um, that brewing room. Okay, cool. <laughs> <laughs> okay, <man. laughs> okay, cool. Bye. Gone. Oh, jeez. Oh, oh, oh my god. What? Oh my god. What happened? There's so many Where are you? zombies. No! <laughs> oh, 
Alrighty, audience, you and I need to have a very quick chat here. On this mod pack, if you die, you lose one maximum heart. However, those of you who are good at mathematics may notice that this has not occurred. This is because, for me, for some reason, I am bugged. And the, the losing hearts thing just does not work for me. I, I have no idea why. The way that we ended up getting it to work is Forge Labs had to manually set my heart to nine. So what I'm gonna do is, if the hearts are incorrect, I'll just, uh, I'll just come down here and I'll just slap one of these puppies on there <laughs> and we'll just pretend that this is the correct amount okay following my death and having my hearts manually set to nine i then made my way back to the city but we ran into a wee problem when i got back to the skyscraper where you at right here look out the window oh. hello yeah just go, just go through the window good idea except uh, Zombie Kim here is uh, kind of in the way. I'm so mad. I lost the super soldier serum. <laughs> I know. I was like, he, he drank that. And now it's gone. I don't know if there's any more anywhere. There's got to be some somewhere. Uh, maybe. Maybe we can find like a lab or something somewhere. Are you uh, able to get in there or are they still after you? Well, no, there's there's a horde of them. No, no, it's okay. Don't, don't have to rush it. We can wait till the morning. Yeah. Uh, careful. Oh! What's wrong with me? Dude. Oh, oh, oh. Just yeah? block block up. Just chill. Just blo block up two blocks and then just hit them. I don't have any blocks. Yeah, well, m mosey on around to me and... Oh, there, there you go. I've got a new friend. His name is Leroy. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Where are you, Leroy? Man, the strength three is really nice to have, though. Yeah, thanks. Really appreciate that. <laughs> don't die, Shadow. Do you understand? I, don't know. I can handle this. I, I, I'm a pro. <laughs> Look at them all. Yeah. Now imagine when they jump. No! What? What? Leroy! What happened? Wait, where is he? Oh no, he's still there. Oh, what? thank God. Your bird? Yeah. Uh oh. Uh oh. This is not good. Block up, block up. I don't have any blocks. Grab some blocks, man! Oh, Leroy's on my shoulder. There he is. Ah. Yar! We do be living through the zombie apocalypse. Me and Leroy, the greatest team we've ever seen. There you go. Now you got it. What is that? What? I thought it seemed like a, an enderman. Do you see that? No. En enderman particles? Oh. Oh my god, yeah. Oh my gosh. He has an ender pearl. Oh yeah. <laughs> he used an ender pearl on me. Absolute mad lad. After a while, they, they'll, they'll, they'll dash. So I'm thinking of building a tree house, Shadow. Thoughts? <laughs> <laughs> uh, not too bad. Leroy, be careful. It's whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, Horde, come over here! Yes, lure, lure them away with your supple buns, Sean. <laughs> come over here! The, chase the hamburger man, not the shadow man. Oh! Yeah! Come here! I just figured out zombies adapt. What do you mean they adapt? I was up on a, two blocks and they couldn't reach me. Oh, and yeah. And then one one started throwing an ender pearl at me. Yeah, they they, they learn. Okay, Sneeve, uh, your stuff is up in a chest. Oh my gosh, I just killed somebody's bird. Leroy! <laughs> no! <laughs> was that your bird? No! <laughs> Leroy! He, he was like... <laughs> <laughs> he wasn't... I thought yours was blue. He was the only the only friend I've ever had. Alright, Steve, I'll show you where your, uh, your chest is. You think that's important right now? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I killed your bird. Um, I'm sorry. Parrot was slain by Shadow Mech 27 using Admiral's <laughs> Ceremonial Sword. Okay, I didn't see that pop up. <laughs> Sorry. He Leroy. just got in the way. Leroy. All right, let's go get your things before night comes again. <laughs> no, oh we gotta get to the gosh. casino. Okay, we'll just, yeah, we'll just get this quick. Come no here. worrying Sleep. about items and casinos. Leroy's dead. So, uh, you guys come here often? <laughs> <laughs> Only yes. when I'm in deep trouble. <laughs> <sighs> Lost my pride. No, I never had none of that. <laughs> All right. Let's go. Mansion time. Let's go. All right. Oh, wait. Here, Sneeve. I got something for you. Do you have a chess piece? Uh, I have th th this red t-shirt. Whoa. Give me some mesh leggings. Thank you. Here. Ooh. Thank you, sir. I very much appreciate right, no, this. No dying to zombies now. No, never again. No dying to zombies. That's kind of embarrassing. <laughs> Here you go. Oh, thanks. That's even better than the one Sean gave me. Oh, is it? <laughs> this Sean guy, huh?
Oh my god. Oh my god, if I died again. Oh. That was not fun. That was not fun. Oh. Holy. One heart. Sneeve, you coming? I nearly died. How? Zombies knocked me off the ladder as I was climbing down. Oh my god. I went down to one heart. How? <laughs> I was like, never again. Never again. <laughs> okay, come on. I, I'm currently bunkered up. I need to, I need to find some food. Okay, there we go. I've, I've got some chicken. Are you good? Yeah, I'm good. <laughs> okay. Wait, hang on. I'll just take the... I'll just end a pearl down. And so end a pearl, I did. After an uneventful traveling session, we mined ourselves some gold at the mansion and headed off to the casino. Trust me, when you get in the... When you walk step foot in this door, you're going to be saying, I can't wait to gamble. <laughs> and here it is. Atlas Casino. Now, here's the thing. I thought if it's a casino, there's got to be a vault somewhere. It's a little bit dark in here. So yeah. here's apparently... It says, please throw one gold nugget below. Let's light this place up. Hang on, it says it's put one gold nugget. gold nugget below. Oh. Oh. There we go. Oh! Who did it? I did it. Ah. Uh, uh, too, too bad. Here, I got robbed. eight. I got eight. I the only see. thing is. Oh, turn around, little ones! <laughs> oh my god. The children are back. Uh, there's gold blocks over there for you, Steve. Thank you. Whoa, wow. You had a lot of gold. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. I've got it all on red. Let's go, let's go. Come on, baby. Oh, Let me see it. Let me see it. It's not working properly. There's only... It's broken. <laughs> it's literally broken. No. No, it, it doesn't break. It's... Pretty sure all three of them are supposed to be gone. I gotta win. <laughs> I'm gonna get it before you do, Sneak. I'm gonna play you. No. I keep getting zero, zero, zero. Hey. You guys got any blocks? The, the, the whole horde's getting in here. Uh, uh. Hang on, hang on. We'll use, use these. It's, a, it's not very uh, sanitary, but it'll do. Hang on, they're coming in through the rafters. Come on. Do the scramble, eh, Shadow? Yeah, the scramble. <laughs> there we go. Is that all sealed up? Yep. Alright. Hey! I won! What'd you get? A golden bar. Wow, this is, this really is a casino. <laughs> Listen, Sneeve. Look, look, okay. This is the thing I worry about. <laughs> I give you this apple, and then you're gonna die. That would never happen. Listen, Shadow, just give me the apple. I just want to look at it. I just want to see what it looks like. Like this? Yeah, just, no, 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 no just, I just want to hold it. You want to hold it? Yeah, I just want to hold it. Okay, I'll let you hold it, but make sure All you right. give it back, okay? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Take the heart from him. So you wasted that, you wasted that! Hey, I cannot be held accountable for your foolish behavior. <laughs> <laughs> you shouldn't have trusted me. Oh yeah, my margarita. Let's uh, let's have a drink now, Sean. Yes, I'm gonna stand this way. Would would you like a yeet stick? I would love one. Behold, <coughs> the yeet stick. Oh, oh, thank you. You're welcome. I don't know. I was gonna say like use it with the uh, um. Pride. Someone's gonna die to this. Oh my god. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> Sean, please yeet this man. <laughs> <laughs> this is what happens when 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 you do not adopt the responsibility of the yeet stick. Oh my god, <laughs> that's great. You have, we have to lure someone up on the building. Absolutely, yeah. Definitely we not Kim. Uh, I mean, definitely I'll Kim. Yes. I, I'll stop hitting you, Sneeve. But can you do me a favor? Can you can you go check that window for me? If there, I was wondering if there's a breeze coming in. <laughs> the one that's open. There you go. I I'm not I'm not going anywhere near you. Hang on, you, you the zombie. What? I want I want to. There he goes, there he goes, that's Whoa. a three-pointer. Oh. And after yeeting that zombie, so ended our first 24 hours in the zombie apocalypse. Oh geez, I guess it just passed midnight. Well, day two has begun. The zombies are now much faster. Let's hope the uh, mutations don't get much worse than that. <laughs> now I swear, these rooms are very cool. There's gotta be something here somewhere. I'm at least gonna take these blocks. Annoyingly, I would actually quite like to sleep. And although there's a giant bed in the middle of the room, it is non-sleepable. Wait, never mind. I'm dumb. I had a bread in my inventory. I mean a bed. A, a bread bed. And now we have to figure out how to get out of here. Show me your treasure. Ooh, nuggies and cobwebs. Fantastic. Um, officer, those are my nuggies. Yeah, they, I stored them here for later. Damn nuggy police. Let me out. I can't find the way down. That's one way down. A bit deathy though for me. Good God. It's night time again, and I'm back in the same room where I started. Um, getting kind of thirsty, not gonna lie. You know what? I have an idea. I know a way down. I know a way down. Here we go. Here we go. 
this is the way down. If anyone asks, I, uh, I found the stairs and I exited through the normal way. What is this building I'm on? I guess I can't really tell from the roof. Let's go inside. It looks like some kind of hospital or laboratory or something. Ooh, hello, there's a bunch of potions here. And some water. Morphine? Mmm. So I spent a wee while checking out all of the chests in that there building. Found a few Tramadol HCLs, but uh, sadly no Super Soldier Serum, which is what I was holding out for, considering the last serum I had was in my system for all of 43 seconds. Ooh, this hallway has a button. Tell me over- Oh my god! Uh, uh, uh. Me Meredith, do be a dear and bring me the brown trousers. I am hearing a lot of zombies down this end of the hallway. Oh, there he is. Old uh, armless Larry here is uh, disobeying the laws of physics, and uh, he got clapped. That's what happens. Stay in school, kids. I spent a little bit longer in that place rummaging through the bathrooms to see if I could find a super soldier serum, but after failing, I decided to leave. And when I left, look who I ran into. Oh my god, I need seeds. Reborn from the ashes of malice, Leroy has returned. It apparently doesn't like my seeds anymore, so I'm gonna have to go and grab some more. All right, Leroy, don't play with my heart again this time. There we go, and the team is back together. Or rather, I am back with Leroy. Let's be honest with ourselves here, Leroy is the main anime protagonist, and I'm just a minor side character for his shonen arc. Ooh, a riot shield. Yes, that I need, that I need, that I need. Equip. Alrighty, now I should take slightly less damage from the childish... Childish, childish, childish. I've been trying to say this joke, okay? Childish Zombinos. Like, you know, Childish Gambino, but Childish Zombino. And it's really hard to say. Childish, 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 childish. childish. Alright. <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> I do think I'm getting the hang of this uh, nighttime zombie management. Got myself a little block here so that they can jump up and I can whack them in the mouth. This is what I'm doing pretty much every night that I don't show. Ooh, there appears to be some kind of landing site here. And, uh, what is this, like a bunker? A bunkerino? Let's have a look inside. Tell me your secrets, observers, and a lever. Oh, well, that's annoying. Uh, what is it? <laughs> okay. Interesting, interesting. Ooh, a turtle! Hello? What's in you? What's in you? It is locked. Okay, I've got to destroy this. Well, uh, my inventory's full. This is annoying. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna trap Terry in here. Hang on, Terry. I will save you. Don't worry. I'm sure you'll be able to get food somehow. Let's have a look in here. Uh, tramadol. Blah 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 blah. Bunch of potions. Uh, nothing of particular note. If I have any potions, I'll just come back. I suppose the chest's gonna be here. Terry's looking after it. And what is that? It looks like an aircraft carrier. Cool. Oh oh. Ooh. Lad, I think that might be Terry's girlfriend. It's alright, Terry, I've unlocked your powers as a true gamer now. Yeah, I'm just having a look over these potions. They're all garbage. I'm just gonna leave them here. Nice day for fishing. Sadly, I've got to hang out with the Twitter community. I am reminded of the fact that I, uh, hate... Yeah, hate, hate is the right word. I hate fishing. <laughs> In reality, it's been two minutes, but it feels like two hours. Oh, there we go, we got something. What is it? A bow. A m very mediocre bow. Uh, I blame Leroy. I think Leroy's scared in the fish. Leroy, you handsome devil, I could never stay mad at you. Uh, why do I hurt myself with this fishing? Oh, uh, hooray, another goldfish. Okay, I'm out of here. <laughs> I'm done. Let's go back to the city or something. Use these daylight hours. And then I've got a plan for where we will build our base. Now you may notice that something interesting just happened down here. Shadow has died twice. The story behind this is actually hilarious. After you finish this video, go watch Shadows. It's fantastic. So Shadow has now died three times <laughs> and won't tell me where he is. So I've come to his base to help him. Shadow, my friend, where are you? Oh, he's not here. Well, may as well go through his underwear drawer then. Let's have a look in here. You, you know, Shadow might be in one of these chests here, so I'm just gonna... Just looking for my friend. Shadow's not in that one. He's not in that one. Man, Shadow has nothing for me to steal. So I'm gonna tell you that this terrain is absolutely uh, terrible. It, it's, it sucks. Great exercise with the calves, though. The ankles, not so much. Righto, I am heading back to the stadium, and I'm gonna go into that forest that we went past. Well, there's a few zombies in here, aren't there? Ow. I'm bad at killing zombies. <laughs> Oh yeah. So you see these trees here? My plan is to build a base in them. Yes, you see, as long as we're a little bit away from the tunnel, I think there'll be no zombies coming through. And we could just go down here into these leaves here. And I think it's pretty unlikely that any of the, uh, the Forge Lab crew will find me. 
I hear a baby zombie. Where is he? What do I do? What do I do? He sounds really close. Where is he? Just attack me or don't. Stop teasing me. <laughs> I can't find him. We're just going to block him off. Okay, and we can finally cook these fish. Oh, uh, never mind, I don't have any wood, and I only have two iron. Oh, jeez. Iron is really hard to come by, not gonna lie. Okay, well, this'll do for now. I've got a little, little stouter room. Leora agrees. It is a little cramped, though. Just gonna break some of these leaves here. And we can finally store away all of this investment stuff. Show yourself, zombie! Guys, drive me insane. Oh, there he is! There he is! I hate you, baby zombie, no? Alright, I'm going out through the roof. It is morning time. Uh, I feel like the roof is a much safer way out rather than getting cornered by Dennis, the great zombino chicken rider. <laughs> now we're gonna build ourselves a fence post here because otherwise I will never find the base. And now we're going to the woods because Lord Almighty, I need wood for torches. Oh my god, I figured it out. The zombie noises. They're coming from Leroy. Leroy, I swear to God, I am going to bathe you in teriyaki. Charcoal, charcoal, charcoal is the play. Use the wood to burn the wood. Oh yes, charcoal for days. We can now go exploring with our many torches we can make and also have some fuel for smelting iron. Leroy, I will turn you into a wonton. Yeah, see, we're in a minor quandary here. If it wasn't for that monolith, I would never find my base. But at the same time, the reason my base is in the forest is so that other people can't find it. Unfortunately, I'm the kind of guy to call my mum asking if she's seen my phone, so I feel like we're gonna have to keep it there for now. Well, it is a new morning, and we are going to the stadium, finally. <laughs> oh, the memories. So many zombies, but now I'm back from outer space. Oh geez, I, I forgot how big this place is. I pretty much just dipped out immediately <laughs> as soon as I logged in. This place is huge. Honestly, with the, the size of this place, I, I'm i hoping I can find something because otherwise I'm just going to be walking around for a while. But it does look like there's some kind of, uh, oh hello, this guy doing jumping jacks down here. Well, it looks like there's some kind of, uh, I don't know, survival shelter or something here? There's some beds, uh, a bunch of wool, but I don't... Let's have a look. Uh, hooray! Yes, I, I have a feeling there's not going to be very much loot here. So, editing Sneeve here, um, I came across all of that glowstone, but uh, I didn't recognize it was glowstone, so I left it there. Yeah. Yep, I now realize that that was a brainlet move. And you... No, uh, raw rabbit run. Yeah, it, it, it really seems like, besides food, I'm not finding an awful lot in this station. I figure maybe I've got to go higher up and I can find some, uh, you know, like one of those little rooms that they record the games from. Maybe there'll be something in there. Oh, I found the exit. Look, the stadium's so big that it's uh, it's not even loaded in on the other side. Well, I've gone onto the roof here, but it would appear that there's nothing up here either. A shame, to be sure. I found the recording room, Milo. Okay, uh, 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 uh oh. <laughs> I think I might be in the back rooms here. I don't think I'm supposed to be in here. What do you do? Hello? Well, I'm glad nothing exploded. <laughs> I guess we're done. Nothing on the roof either. Sad face dot JPEG. And now the Sneeve way down. I'm a genius. Now let's check out this basketball stadium. After I dab on this kid. There you go. Uh, it was my understanding there would be no children at the game. Sorry, Tim Tim, but I'm going to be having alcoholic beverages here. Sea lanterns. Hmm, I could take that prismarine. There are a lot more zombies in the basketball stadium than there are in the football stadium. Proof that basketball fans are more likely to become zombies? Hmm, politics. Okay, we're going to need to be a little faster here. The zombies are starting to wake up. Come on, come on. All right, I think this is going to be our, uh, our little safety spot for the night. Should be able to lure them over. And then uh, we'll take them out in the morning, pretty much. Yeah, it seems to work decently. We've got a little spot so we can whack them during the night. And then go down and collect all the giblets and XP in the morning. Okay, it's morning. Another another restless night just whacking the hungry zombies below me. We'll just finish these guys off and get out of here. What? Leroy! Why? Why would you do that? <laughs> no! He, he flew right in front of my sword. <laughs> Oh no! Oh god! Why? Okay. Well, let's let's go back inside the stadium now and uh, see if we can find anything. Another bird, perhaps.
Oh wow, this is this is very impressive. The lighting's really good, and the glass clock thingy. I don't know. I don't watch basketball. Yeah, that is very cool. There's a lot of zombies in here and uh, not a lot of loot, so I'm gonna leave. Now, yeah, it would appear the same as the uh, football stadium. There's a lot of, like, kiosks with food in them, but uh, not any loot. Not any lootable loot. No, not any loot worth looting, as they say. I did manage to find the uh, observation booth again with uh, levers that do nothing. And two arrows and a potato. <laughs> <laughs> Hooray! You know, I do feel kind of jealous of Shadow. He goes looting for 20 minutes and finds super soldier serum, and meanwhile I find <laughs> grass, uh, potato, and uh, some spider eyes. Hooray! Another very uneventful scavenging trip, I'm afraid. Alright, well, if we can't go and scavenge some gear, then we're going to use the, the minecrafting craft of, of, of minecrafting to go and find some gear ourselves. I recognize now that nowhere in that ramp incoherent narration was I close to anything that could be considered a rational thought. Charcoal. Hooray. Yes, I, I, I don't think I'm terribly lucky. So we're going mining. You know what? We're, we're, we're going mining. Oh, an enchanted book. <laughs> okay, I was going to say my uh, luck seems to have turned around because I actually got something good, but uh, no. All right, this is the spot we're going to use for a mine. I'll use my uh, riot stick here for... Apparently there's a cave down here. Mmm, yes. Uh, give me the iron. Yes! Oh, sweet lord. We have some iron and a little bit more up there as well. Excellent. So I've got two furnaces here. One's cooking charcoal and the other one is cooking our iron. Man, it is going to be fantastic to actually have some iron armor of my own. Yeah! My god. Ah. Oh. That scared me so much. Just as I thought, mm, I'll block this off. That fellow was like, mm, yes, hello. An iron pickaxe. Oh, finally. No more destroying gold blocks for the old Sneevy boy. In addition to that, I also made the iron pick so that we could go a little deeper and hopefully find some diamond. Oh, deep slate. Excellent. That means the diamonds are found at negative uh, 40 million, like I said last time. So we're looking for the crab, people. We're going to go pretty deep. That's what she said. And the first deep ore we find is gold. Interesting. I certainly need more of that. Oh well, I, this will make a fine addition to my buttered armor collection. Mine, mine. Hooray! Yes, yes, yes. The blue bubblegum ore hath returned. The raspberry man, very excited. <laughs> Let's go. Gimme, gimme. I have been saving my iron pick for this exact situation. However, I don't have any space. There we go. Only two. That is extremely disappointing. There's gonna be some more around here. Yes, yes, yes. I was down in that mine until I found two more diamonds, and then I mined some iron on the way back up. Making sure that every time I had a decent length corridor behind me, I blocked it off in case zombies turned up. The five diamonds are of course for one diamond pickaxe and one enchanting table. And I did manage to find some lapis, so we are a go on the enchanting. Oh yes, and finally some coal. Thank the lord. So it's just rolled over to day three, and we've all just received messages on our portable radio devices. I'm not really sure what to make of it, so I'll let you have a listen. Radio transmission. Hey, how's it going? It's, uh, I'm in a bunker right now, not doing too... Here's the problem. There's a man living in the city, and he needs to die. His name is Kim, and anyone who can kill this man will be rewarded handsomely. I've got a chest hidden with some good stuff, and when I tell you this is good stuff, you got to believe me, it's some good stuff. If you kill this man... I'll give you the location of the chest and it's yours, all right? I want this guy dead. You got one day. All right, here's the deal, guys. Um, you know how I was struggling for resources? And I still very much am. So that chest, it, it appeals to me, I've got to say. So here's the deal. Kim, aka Unsorted Guy, is the target. Robbo, aka Quick Boy, happens to be online right now. Listen, I haven't known Rob for terribly long, but if there's one thing I know, he is always happy to take down Kim. <laughs> so my plan is to proposition Robbo and see if he'd be keen for a little team up. If so, then maybe we can split the reward. Now, while I like Robbo a lot, he's awesome dude and definitely go check out his channel. He is also a very crafty lad, so I'm going to store my things before I meet up with him. Just to hedge my bets in case he gets a bit, you know, murdery. So I'm a little bit nervous. I've done the, you know, this trap idea quite a few times now, but the second mutation is they can now break blocks. Holy hell. Okay, he... 
They just broke a window down there. It doesn't look like they can break stone though, or else I think I would have seen it thus far. So I think we'll be okay, but yeah, fragile materials, definitely a good idea to not build with those. Yeah, so during the night, they didn't break anything other than the glass, so I'm fairly confident in my theory that they can't break anything unless it's fragile. So I'm going to store all of my goodies in here, just to hedge in case something unexpected happens. We'll come back for it as soon as we have the obsidian for the enchanting table. I made some shears and declared war on the leaves, my thinking being we can use this as camouflage. What? 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 What's happening? What are you doing? Oh god. No, no, no. No. Oh, he broke my armor. Ooh. Okay, maybe leaves is a bad idea. <laughs> Wait, didn't I say that before? That's why in the background I cooked up some stone to make some bricks. If my deduction was correct, then they shouldn't be able to break through this. We're obviously going to want to keep the tree canopy to maintain the camouflage, but we'll fill in a wall at the bottom here with bricks so that the zombies can't find their way in. I've been hearing some zombie sounds in the background, but they haven't been able to enter. Again, more evidence to say they cannot break bricks. We do happen to have a couple of visitors outside though. <coughs> Hoja. Be gone, traveling salesman. I've already played Raid Shadow Legends. So I don't know if they'll be able to sneak in through this little crack here, but we're definitely gonna replace it with stone anyway, just to be sure. Oh, yep. This is why. Oh god, I can't jump, I can't jump. Whew, okay. I'm gonna get out through the top just in case another one shows up. I don't have much health. Holy hell, that was so close. They are damn children. Whew. Well, that gave me a heart attack. Certainly has made me want to uh, work a little bit faster here and uh, fill this in pretty quickly. <laughs> so I think that's most of the walls filled in. We have a good solid foundation here and we can build on top of it. And just put that there. Oh god, what? What? Where's the wood? Where's the wood? Nope. I say no. Tim Tim, what did you do? Oh, right. I should fill that in, shouldn't I? There we go. Should be secure now. Alrighty, the time has come. I've uh, had a chat with Robbo and we are going to be meeting up tomorrow. My plan is to proposition him about the Kim murder. Friendly things. Yes, kindness and happiness. And hopefully we'll get an ally in Rob and he will be happy to share some of that reward. Would be jolly good to have Rob as an ally, honestly. He's a good man. He also happens to be quite good at this game, unlike me. So in terms of making it to extraction, I would much rather have him as an ally than uh, have him as a ally int if you know what I'm saying. So I'm currently at our meeting spot and sadly uh, Rob informed me that he's already claimed the bounty, but I still want to make him an ally. Hey. Well, well. Hey, young, yeah. young Robbo. Oh wow, you are kitted out, aren't you? Was that the reward for um, dispatching young Kimothy? Oh, it was much better than this. Oh, was it? Yes. Are you going to say what it is or is that a secret? Um. Uh, there's there's a mending book involved. Ooh, you're a lucky man. Yeah, let's let's lose some buildings. How about it? Yeah, I'm keen. Um, Here, just a little. Pe oh, I brought a little peace offering. A peace offering. Between me and you. Oh my God, dude. Maybe that'll help. Look at this man wearing full diamond armor, holding a baby. A little baby. <laughs> Gives a poor man three diamonds. Wow. <laughs> I uh, had some extra gold or enchanted apples I gave to Ryan because he was at two hearts. What? What happened to Ryan? <laughs> he had two hearts today. I was like, okay, I have three left. I'm going to give you two and then he's the last. All right, let's go find a building to loot. Robo and I hung oh, out for a couple no. of days looting buildings and I even found him a oh, present. I found a present for you up here, actually, Robo. There's also grenades in here. I don't know what those are. Um, here, Robo, I've got you a present. I mean, I don't have feather falling on my boots, so that helps. Hey, let's go. Oh, I got, I got you beef stews. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> we spent a good while together, shooting the breeze, talking about zombies, um, mostly zombies, really. Eventually, we found ourselves in a very interesting building. We got separated briefly, but when we found each other again, Robert had something very interesting to show me. Now, I keep forgetting water is a thing. Be very careful, though. I'm careful. Holes. And lead to death. Found uh, oh, yeah. I found these these legs up here. Look at that. Iron legs. Look at those things. Oh hell yeah. No no no. Look at it. Not just the iron legs. Exodus squad leggings. Oh hello. Have you put these on? No not yet. You can try them. I suppose you don't. Do you want them back? Um, you can wear them. They look pretty cool. <laughs> they do look this pretty is, cool. Uh, yes. Yeah, full disclosure, they give you speed. Oh, do they? Yes. 
then I might want them. <laughs> <laughs> I shouldn't have told you. We got to hang out for a wee while that day. It's always fun song. hanging out with good old Robbo. You want your pants back? I assume so. Uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty. In turn, um, I'll get you some diamond pants, okay? Alright, I'll accept that trade. You can have your pants back so long as you give me something. <laughs> Pleasure, pleasure looting buildings with you. Yes. Damn it, I wish I hadn't got rid of my other pants now. Alright, see you later. Alright, buddy, I'll see ya. Where am I going? I need to go south. Well, that was certainly a delightful chat with Sir Robbington. i not gonna lie, I think I miscalculated by telling him the buffs that those pants gave me. But it meant that we left on amicable terms, so hopefully we can formulate an alliance. Next on the agenda is we are going back uh, on finishing our enchanting table. If you look at the map here, there is a volcano down there, and I imagine that it will have plenty of obsidian. So that's where we're going. Once we manage to find our way out of this situation, not sure. We seem to be in a little bit of a pickle. There's a lot of uh, zombinos. Oh yeah, that's a lot. Uh, I guess I could pearl away. I don't really want to. I want to explore some more of these buildings. Sadly, I don't think I have a choice. If I jump down, I'm going to get eaten. So I'm just going to have to pearl away. Run from your problems, children. That's how you solve them. So it looks like my pearl landed on top of uh, some kind of seaside diner. Let's have a look. Well, nothing, but we do have some edibles, so I'll take those. I am severely lacking in food. Oh, yep, here are the boys. Where are you? There you are. Okay, there seems to be a few zombinos around here. Probably a good idea for me to skedaddle. I'll have one last look in these. All right, boys, uh, I'm gonna nom on this fish here and then I'm gonna leave. Oh, nope, nope, I'm gonna leave now. <laughs> those baby zombies, man, they really make you hustle. Let's check out this yacht. It looks cool, so maybe there'll be something good inside. I'm gonna grab my boat. Sadly, I think it's just decorative. There's been nothing in here. It looks very awesome. Oh, wait, there's barrels here. Hang on, let's have a look. No, no, no. Oh dear, no, no. No, these people were not prepared. Uh, time to go. This boat here, though, looks very interesting. Oh, <laughs> it appears I can just drive straight into the back. Okay, cool. I'll park this up over here. Couple of zombies on board, but nothing too serious. The main reason I'm checking out, uh, you know, all of these kind of future-looking places, like this yacht and that other boat, is I really want to find that Super Soldier Serum that Shadow talked about a while ago. I'm thinking, you know, Super Soldier Serum, it's got to be in the hands of someone that's rich. So, ooh, hello, beer. <laughs> Fair enough. Ooh, you know what I just realized? These oven hoods are not oven hoods. They're anvils. I'm taking those. You need 31 iron for an anvil. I have 20 back at my base. Not enough. So these anvils will save me a lot of iron. I'm gonna grab this glowstone though. We can use this for some potions. And now if you look at the map, I am heading southeast from my base. So we're gonna stop through the aircraft carrier here for a real quick trip to see if we can find any, any goodies. There's gotta be something in this cool place. And then onto the volcano for the obsidian. Very awkward ladder on the way up with no, nothing behind. Oh geez. <laughs> uh, we're just gonna, oh wow, there was a lot of them. And the lag's pretty bad as well. All right, we're just gonna, we're just gonna speed on through. So these at the back here kind of look like jet planes. Oh wow, there's a lot of gold back here. Is there anything, any chest or anything in these? Doesn't look like it. Okay, well, I think we have to go further into the carrier. This hangar here is just full of zombies. <laughs> Literally just zombies. Okay, looks like I managed to find the living quarters in this here hangar. I don't like how close quarters this is. If I get a lot of them up behind me, I may have to dig my way out the side or something. Oh, hello. Boxing gloves. Uh, doesn't say what they are. My boots are nearly dead, actually. Sanitation department and weapons master. Well, weapons master, obviously. Need a repair or an upgrade? I'm your guy. Weapon storage. Okay, okay. <laughs> okay, there's a hole in the ground. All right, um, blocks. Okay, let's have a look. Name tags, name tags, name tags, and name tags, and iron bars. Well, that's a shame. Oh, they're coming in. Okay, uh, I'm gonna make sure that if they come in one by one, I kill them all. That way they won't be able to group up. I think that's gonna be the smart way of doing things. Shooting range, excellent. Uh, I can hear, I can hear a lot of them. Oh, there's another one. Sorry, Jeffrey. But I need to get in the shooting range. Come on, give me something. Wait. Oh, yes. That was that 50 cal that Shadow was talking about. Excellent, excellent. Doesn't say what it does, but I'm gonna try it out. Let's have a look. Oh, wow, that loaded pretty quickly. I can see a bunch of them through there. Holy hell. That took out that whole group. I think I, uh... I may have got something very good by finding that 50 cal. It's actually awesome. I actually... I actually love it. Oh, God. Oh, God, they're coming in. No, no, no. He just... He just broke some of my armor. Nope, nope, nope. Okay, crossbow time. 
Whew. Can you tell I like this crossbow? <laughs> I am a big fan. Don't mind me, lads. I'm just uh, just heading to the observation deck. Um, just grabbing those uh, quarterly reports. <laughs> no need to follow me. I, I've got everything under control. Okay, looks like I've managed to find the observation deck. Check the chests. Monoculars. Sad face. Those aren't very useful for me. Wow, this giant map is cool. Uh, nothing else in here, sadly, so I am going to skedaddle on our way to the volcano. Bit sad, really. There didn't seem to be too much here. Um, got the 50 cal, which is actually awesome, but uh, very little else. Oh, I can hear them breaking blocks. All right, I'm just gonna... Just gonna moisturize myself real quick here. So we are heading southeast. Ooh, it looks like there's some kind of dock here. May as well stop and check these houses really quickly. A blacksmith. Hmm. Lava! Yes! Ooh, oh, I just had an idea. I could use my water bucket and I could turn that lava into obsidian. That might be a lot easier than going to the volcano. I'm still gonna go, but, uh, I mean, if we've already got our obsidian, then there's no stress of, like, you know, risking anything. The only thing I am worried about is this is only, there's only a tiny little doorway, so maybe the zombies will quite easily corner me in here, so I'm just gonna make sure there's none nearby. Our hero, our hero, the great chicken rider is back. Well, this 50 cal works wonders on children. So I'm trying to kind of lure the zombies into like a straight line, and then I can hit them with a 50 cal and take them all out at once. Save myself some time and ammo. Oh, it's Kim. Yeah, see, like this. You line them all up and then the bullet goes down the line. And then once I've gotten myself what I feel like is enough room, I come back here and I mine some of the obsidian. It takes a very long time. Alright, well, that took a long time, but uh, we're done. We've gotten four obsidian now, which is enough for the enchanting table. Now we're just gonna head down to the volcano, have a look what's there, and then head back and make it. Sir, please stop. I'm trying to type. Okay, hold the phone. This lighthouse seems to have a beacon or something at the top. So I think I'm at the top, but there's no there's no more stairs. But I, I, I haven't found the uh, the beacon that we saw earlier. I guess we're climb on the outside. Ooh, that's a long way down. Oh wait, no, I'm done. There's, ju there's just a bunch of cobwebs here, but there is some stairs. Okay, no, I'm wrong again. Now I'm at the top and I can't see the beacon. So we are going to have to block up somehow to get on top. Okay, easy does it now. I do not want to fall. Oh, a little further this way. Oh, yep, there we go, we can see it. Okay, more blocks. Excellent. Okay, we have a, a beacon. Because we are not going to be going to the nether, obviously, in this zombie apocalypse. So this beacon is actually quite unique. Very interesting. This will be very valuable. Oh ho, yes. I, that certainly looks like a volcano or lava or something. Yep, certainly volcano-y. I am a volcanologist and that is indeed a volcano. There's a lot of uh, dead coral around here. It looks very cool. That is a big pool. Uh, an uncool pool, I suppose. There also happens to be a building over there. I'll check that out later. We're just scouting for now. We don't want to get in too deep because, uh, well, we don't want to die. And we also have a lot of goodies on our inventory, so we don't want to lose any of that. Listen, I'm not going to question the physics of using leaves to block lava, and uh, you can't either, all right? All right. I've decided to go in the house. Uh, yes, I said I wouldn't, but uh, it's too tantalizing. Hello? Chest? One gold. Okay. Uh, let's go peek over the edge of the volcano and see what's in the middle. Ooh, hello. There's like a little little base down there. Interesting. I am very tempted to go and get those chests. I recognize the danger, but I think I should be okay. I can just pearl down. Boop. Okay. A, se a seagull egg. Oh jeez. This isn't gonna be very good loot, is it? I just risked my life for nothing. <laughs> What's up? Magenta dye and fake fish. Arrow of fire resistance. Hmm. Um, if I could shoot myself, that would be handy. And the final chest. Lime dye. Okay, well, this was worthwhile, wasn't it? Okay, well, I guess I'm going. <laughs> I'll grab these, uh, arrows of fire resistance. I can't, for the life of me, think of a use because I can't really shoot myself, but it's the only valuable thing we've found here. So it has some kind of, uh, sentimental value, I suppose. What? What? It's... Oh god, I, I don't want to turn around. I don't want to turn around. Wait, no, 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 I can't see it. I can't see it. Okay, I'm just gonna pile out. There's too much lava here. If I fall in that lava, I'm dead. Okay. Never mind. I'm, I'm, I'm too... I'm too nervous to pearl because if I miss, then I'm screwed. I could get the blaze rods and make... make some potions. Hmm. Okay, what we're gonna do is we're gonna sleep and then we'll go down into... We'll go back into the volcano and we'll hopefully kill those blazers and grab some blaze rods. Okay, they seem to have despawned, but I think it's proximity based, so if I just... I'm gonna heal up, and then we'll head down there, and then... Oh, 
Oh my god. I... I just lost everything. Oh, no. Oh my god. There's, there's no way, there's no way any of it would have survived. <laughs> and now I'm in the bargaining stage of grief, like maybe something survived. <laughs> oh man, that hurt, that hurt. Oh, and it would appear that my health is reset to 10. Um, that's not the way it's supposed to go. Okay, well, we'll, we'll chuck one of these boys on there. Well, like my grandfather used to say, if something's hard to do, it's not worth doing. I never knew what he meant by that until now. So I've gotten myself some uh, starter gear once again, and uh, now we're heading back to the base. Because at least I left those two diamonds and stuff in that chest back there. Hmm, the steam leaking from my ears indicates I might be having an idea here. Since day one, we've been struggling a lot with food, and we also know that zombies struggle to pass water. So what if instead of going back to the death trap forest base, we instead build a new base here? The negatives of such an idea, I think, are we'd be more conspicuous. But the positives are, there'd be no zombies, we could farm very easily, and it's also quite easy to see people coming if they do find it. Also, I do happen to love the taters. On my way back from the city, I did come across a construction site, and inside a chest was this rebreather. It says it extends the underwater breathing time significantly. Being so close to the water, this may actually be the play, since the zombies won't be able to swim after us terribly quickly and we might be able to find some goodies under the water. In a few days, we will have more bread than we can handle. I'm also putting these slabs on the, the, the water thingies because then we'll be able to harvest it easier. See? It works. It just works. Now we are going to test out this rebreather. Let's see how it works. Oh wow, that really... that really significantly extends it. Really does what it says on the tin. Oh, there we go. Okay, so it's not permanent, but it is really long. I can be down here for an age. After realizing this, I made myself a underwater mine. There we go. Let's just hope no fish swim in. Not entirely sure how the spawning mechanics work, because they seem to be spawning on the island despite torches and everything being up. Oh well, it's, it's literally two per day it seems, so I can manage this. I can deal with this amount. After a small amount of mining, I happened to come across some very, very hot spaghetti. And thus I decided to use it to make myself some obsidian. I might not have the ability to mine the obsidian just yet, but we are ready for if we can find some more diamonds. And then Operation Enchanting Table is a go. I decided to make myself a nice little dock here so that I can park my boat more easily and also smelted up all the iron ore that I found underground making sure to grab myself some charcoal whenever I ran out of fuel iron pick acquired again sadly while waiting for our crops to grow we're forced to subjugate ourselves once again to the self-flagellation that is minecraft fishing just hit deep slate on the new mine the diamonds will soon again be mine <laughs> nope nope you are the wrong kind of blue get out of here mm. diamond pick acquired again operation lava pool of Obsidian mining is a go. All right, that's all the obsidian that we need. Now we just need one more diamond, and then we are good for that enchanting table. That's not including the two diamonds at my other chest, by the way. I haven't been back there yet. We'll go do that soon. Unfortunately, it is just about to turn over to day four, and I won't have the opportunity to go back to my base until tomorrow. Let's just hope the next mutation isn't too bad. Oh, testicles. So we're on our way back to the base. This is a very tricky terrain, I'm not going to lie. We have to climb over all of these trees and hills to get back there. But uh, the monolith should come into view soon. Thanks to the new positioning of our base, I haven't ran into any zombies whatsoever. However, I have talked to Ryan, and apparently the third mutation is a doozy. We don't know what blocks they can break yet. That's fairly irrelevant. What really matters is the fact that they are really, really hard to kill now. So getting cornered is almost certain death. You can see my monolith in the distance there. We are very close to our two diamonds. Oopsie daisy. There we go. Now what else did I leave in here? Grab those two blue boys, obviously. Oh yeah, the Depth Strider book. Actually, since we're spending so much time underwater now, that might actually come in handy. Getting between these two bases is very much a pain, but I guess we could use that base for additional storage if we ever need it. I mean, right now, 
Apart from the zombies, we aren't actually suffering from too many troubles. So I figure since I'm running a semi-aquatic amphibious life, I may as well put my enchanting table under the water. I think it sounds pretty cool. And not to mention moist. These bookcases are definitely going to be a bit soggy though after a while. Shadow Mech is going to be popping by soon to give me a corsage, maybe a cup of tea, and discuss with me a new announcement that we just heard over the radio. I'll play it for you now. out to anyone that's, uh, y you know, um, still alive. I found a tape and listened to it myself, but I didn't really, uh, I, I just didn't know what to make of it. Uh, I'll just put the damn thing in so you can listen. If thrills and desires are what you seek, go to a place where people and Tom may peak. In there you'll see mirrors and sinks. But probably no drinks. But a treasure can't be any nearer. Hmm, yep. Definitely a brain scratcher, that one. My three IQ points are definitely having a hard time with it. Oh, turns out Shadow's arrived. Hello. Hello. Good evening, sir. Hey, don't look at my chest! <laughs> Get out of there! <laughs> Woo! Look at all this! <laughs> Get out of my giblets. <laughs> We compared brain sizes for a wee while, talking about the riddle that we'd been given. And then Shadow gave me something very interesting, an ender eye. With this, we can make ourselves this ender chest and bank some of the goodies that we have managed to acquire. Obviously the riddle is some kind of treasure hunt, so I made myself some Yeezys and some iron armor before we headed out. Why do I have the name tags? Oh wait, no, I need the name tags for when I find Leroy again. Because he's gone walkabout, and I definitely didn't kill him. We figured the riddle was talking about peeping toms, mirrors, and sinks. So Shadow thought that maybe it was someone looking into a bathroom. So we headed into the city to a residential area, and thought maybe we could find a treehouse or something. We couldn't for the life of us find anything, and the zombies were really, really difficult to kill. Shadow was of course able to dab on these kids like no tomorrow, but my strategy for dealing with the zombinos was mainly to let Shadow do it. Sean McForge Labs decides to turn up, and asked us if we know anything about this riddle, and if we wanted to work together to find the solution. So Woo, cookies! Cookies! Yeah, found a jammed, jammed trunk. Give Ow. me those cookies! Ah, oh God. <laughs> <laughs> hey, okay, so you're looking for a peeping tom. A peeping, peeping tom. tom. A place where a I peeping thought, tom would lie. I thought there was a treehouse in this town, but there's not. And we, we were thinking a place with sinks uh, and mirrors, but no drinks. We were thinking a bathroom. Ah, that's good. I was, when I heard Peeping Tom, I thought of the newspaper people. Peeping Tom, what, what, was, what was that? It was like a creep, right? Yeah, someone looking in your windows. Yeah, someone looking through your windows with binoculars, is what I thought. So we were thinking, oh, coming okay. here, because maybe all the wind, all the houses and the trees, maybe one of the trees. So I was thinking, uh, so th there's a movie theater, when it, it says if thrills are what oh. you seek, maybe? Yes. If thrills and desires are what you see, go to a place where peeping toms might peek. The, 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 I think you guys are right with washroom. That to me sounds right. Well, what about, what about the, uh, the amusement park? Oh! Amusement... Yeah, that's a good idea. And there'll be a bathroom at the amusement park as well. Yeah. All right. He might have cracked it. He might have cracked it. We can, can we stop at the, the maybe we stop at the drive-in on the way? Yeah, maybe it's the amusement park. Yeah, I would I would bet on the amusement park. I think I think that's the the it takes so many boxes that one. All right, you want to try there? I know how to get there. All right, well you you you're leading us, Mr. Sandwich Man. The amusement park was a considerable ways away, but eventually, after a significant hike, we found ourselves at the gates. Oh my gosh! Don't mind the polar oh, bear. Wow. He's just. He's just lost. <laughs> and that horse is in a tree. It's things yep. get weird here. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Regular regular old uh, horse and polar bear relationship. Yep. All right, here it is. All right. Oh, here are the restrooms. Hmm. We decided that we would split up to cover more ground. That way we would be able to find whatever we're here to find faster. And if Scooby-Doo's taught me anything, that is definitely always a good idea. I managed to find some sponges, which was awesome, honestly, because due to the amount of time that I've been spending underwater, I figure these may come in handy. Oh, oh. What the hell happened? I don't know. What? I don't know. What happened? He was- he walked into the washroom and died. Okay, well, um, that's a shame. Uh, <laughs> This oh. stuff is right there. Should we get it? Um, yeah, I, I, I would. Yeah. Okay. Hold hey, on. Hey, Sean, if he happened to lose a couple of things, um, yeah, you think he would notice? 
I, I don't know. Hmm. I don't think so. Say, you know, we put all of his stuff in a chest, but maybe... But maybe something got slipped yeah slipped into the thing yeah i see what you're saying yeah. might want to get to it before the zombies do though okay audience here's the deal am i really trying to rob shadow my friend yes yes i am but it's for but it's not what you think okay this right here is the real reason why i decided to rob shadow i don't know i don't know he was he walked into the washroom and died all right let's run that again i don't know i don't know he was he walked into the washroom and died did you hear it that's acting now, I picked up on that straight away, but I wasn't sure. I, I, I wasn't 100% sure, so I had to test him. Yeah. Thank you. So after I got his stuff back, I went to investigate exactly what happened. And just as I thought, Shadow had been hit by something that had killed him. Now, I don't think that it was Sean that did this. You see, when I was out exploring with Rob, we came across these grenade potions. There's also grenades in here. I don't know what those are. I didn't know what they were, and I completely ignored them. But I was informed by Shadow that they're a magical grenade that can one-shot kill anyone. Now, this isn't enough to implicate Sean, but something about what he said hit me wrong. And as a wise man once said, you have instincts for a reason. Trust them. Oh, come on. Oh my god, no. What's up? I just hit a grenade. Did you die? No, I'm alive. Don't go in, don't come in, don't come in, don't come in. Okay, okay. The particles are still going off. There was another observer. So this place was loaded. Yep. The last thing I wanted was for Sean to be coming in here while I'm backed up against a wall. I can't let him know I'm suspicious yet. Is it good? Oh. Yeah, you see? Yeah, it's gone, it's gone. Whew! Oh man! Did you, uh, did you lose anything? I, I, I just dumped everything in the chest to try and not lose it first. And then, uh, if he happens to lose something now, then, uh, I didn't pick it up. <laughs> I made sure to grab Shadow's two most precious items. His sword and his chest plate. Did you go in and then one of the doors, you, you went in the one of the- The door was already opened. Right. And then an obser- uh, and then a d dispenser shot a grenade at you? Yeah. Yeah, the same thing <laughs> happened to me, but it didn't hit me. Is this the chest here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. As I, as I said, we tried, tried to grab all your stuff, but Sean was constantly fighting off these zombies. It was so hard to get in there. I should have put the chest in a better spot. Yeah. The zombies pick up other stuff? I'm just missing my so sword and my uh, chest piece. I've seen them pick up every- didn't- didn't you get griefed by one of- uh, by a zombie that picked up your sword? Yeah, but there's no zombies around me, I don't think. I don't know. And I, as I said, I went in. I went into the room next to you and uh, another grenade went off. I, I don't uh. know how I lived, if I'm honest. Now, the more Sean doesn't do anything, the less sure I'm becoming in my conclusion. But I am keeping an eye on him. Oh, now they're coming after me. <sighs> okay. Um. Did you get everything? No. What What did you lose? Uh, my sword and my chest. The two big things. No, you can get your, uh... Oh! oh. What? What the hell just happened? If you guys picked up the chef's kiss, that's my sword.
Trust your instincts, boys. Trust your instincts. <laughs> so Sean has apparently found my island. I don't know how. It is too dangerous to go back there now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stay in this hole until tomorrow. As I was digging my way out of my little safety hole, there was a new radio message waiting for me. I assumed it was going to be Sean threatening me somehow, but well, you have a listen. Hello? Is this thing on? Alright, listen. I just wanted to let everybody know not to trust Sean. We had a little mishap yesterday. Sneeve can attest to this. But don't trust the Burger Man, okay? So for anyone that can take down Sean, I can reward you with something really good. You're not going to want to miss out on this. I don't care when you do it. It could be today. It could be tomorrow. Just make sure it's soon, okay? All right. Shadow Max signing off. As I was digging my way upwards through the sunlight and the moisture, I sent a DM to Shadow and Kim to hopefully come bring me some food. I am a hungry man. I gave Shadow back his gear and was able to meet up with Kim for the first time. Shadow informed me that my island has been completely destroyed and that Sean tried to blow up his base in the city as well. He also mentioned that Lagundo possibly has some really interesting information. He's got some very important information. Lagundo, we honestly, the four of us should team up. Yeah, honestly. Like, like I, serious, serious. Like I'm not gonna, like I wasn't planning on betraying anyone anyway, but I think the four of us should team up because Lagundo, he knows how to make a recipe to get your hearts back. Oh really? Yeah, it's expensive though, but he says we can do it. And on that bombshell, Kim, Shadow, and I made our way back through the city. I met Leroy 3, and we arrived back at my base. My destroyed base. Pretty much everything had been completely destroyed, including my ender chest, which had the majority of my special items. That Rob man is not trustworthy. The Rob man. So this is like your rehab island. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yeah. I'm, de I'm <laughs> detoxing over here. Now, I didn't know if I could trust Kim 100%, so I took the opportunity when I could to go down underwater and grab my enchanted table. Shadow and I had officially agreed to an alliance the second we were jumped by Sean. However, Kim wanted to maintain a neutrality with both of us, that being the Sean group and the Shadow group. Obviously, we can't tell him our plans in case he switches sides, so we offered that he could join our group, but only if he killed Robert and Sean. I'm just saying, you guys can really use me as, because they believe now I'm their side. You guys could use me. I mean, if you want to prove yourself. The, thi the thing is, Kim, I was 100% ready to trust you, and then you came, went on about this neutrality thing, and then I was just like, oh, well, if this man's on the fence, then I don't want to say too much. You should blow up their base. Rig their base to blow, set up a landmine. I don't know, they will kill me probably if if I'm present. Yeah, but they're, 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 they will kill you anyway, Kim. <laughs> <laughs> Your best shot is going to be to have some allies that will defend you. Plus, with my broadcast, you can go kill Sean anyway. You, you could get the reward. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, that's so smart. Is there a reward, really? Yes. Oh, reward. yeah. Yeah. All right. I, uh, okay. Yeah, no, okay, okay. Kim agreed to kill Robert and Sean, and we agreed to give him a chance in our alliance if he indeed followed through. In an effort to try and prove his loyalty, Kim told us that Robert and Sean were currently living in a farm to the southwest, so we decided to go there with him to make sure that he was telling the truth. After we got there, Kim and Shadow went inside to check for signs that they were indeed currently living there, and Leroy and I checked around the perimeter. Part of my job was also making sure that no Redditors got inside the house while they were having a look around. Satisfied Kim was telling the truth, Shadow agreed that we should trust Kim, if he follows through with his killing of Rob and Sean. We then headed our separate ways, and I decided to head back down to the volcano. I decided to once again test my capacity for torture by doing some more fishing. Sadly, Minecraft fishing is going to be our best way of getting good enchanting books, like mending, as there are absolutely no villagers on this island. Turns out in a bizarre coincidence, after Sean had tried to blow up Shadow's city base, Shadow had actually moved to the volcano as well, and had set up a base very close to where I currently was. Shadow showed me the secret entrance, and I was able to use his ender chest to get my gear back from the void. I told Shadow of my plan to build a new base underneath the volcano and gave him a turtle helmet so that he could visit me when he wanted to. After this I got to work using the sponges I'd found at the amusement park and as I was doing this Lagundo contacted me on the radio. Short version, uh, I got jumped outside of my base at the airport by Shana Robert. Yeah. And they're like, you gotta find Kim's base or we're gonna kill you right now. Like, you have to agree to this. And they're like, and they had me blinded. So there, was, there was nothing I could do. They had me dead to rights. And I'm like, well, okay. <laughs> 
just uh, just come here, and we're gonna do a thing. You can get a heart. Okay. They promised me a heart back. How many hearts you're on? Are you on for context? I'm on nine right okay. now. But they promised me a heart back, and so I'm like, okay, fine. So I go in there, and Kim is trapped in a box, and they're like, you can get your heart back. Go. And I said, okay. And I shot Kim, and I got, and Kim died, and I got my heart back, and then Sean dropped a grenade on my face. So you th you think that Kim was part of part of it? Before? I don't know if Kim was part of it, or was legitimately mm. trapped, or I have no idea. Kim I, claims I that he tell. was trapped. The thing I need right now is levels. Yeah. I need to get a bunch of levels. Okay. Uh, I am willing to, if you're, if you would trust me, uh -huh. I would like to like come say hi, and we can talk, and we can try to figure things out because I need to like. I need to start figuring out what I'm going to do. I have a theory. I don't know if it'll work. If I can get to level 35, I think I can make craft a heart. How? There's a there's a there's a potion you can make. You need to be level 35. And I think I can craft a heart. Shadow mentioned this. But I told him about it. I asked him to make to get me spider eyes. How 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 yeah, is it how is it made? I'm keeping that a secret. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna be the person who knows this. This is this is my ace up my sleeve. Okay. Yeah. Is I know how to craft a heart, and my thought process is if I can get it so that people don't try to kill me, I can make us have like well over ten hearts for extraction time. That won't help against other players, but it'll help you avoid the zombies. So yeah, this is like this is what I've been at. Is like I don't know what to do. You don't and know who, I don't know who to trust. Yeah, that's fair. Well, I know I know Shadow really wants to have you in our alliance. We have both moved places uh, to a new spot, um, but we we wouldn't even tell Kim. Like we, we told Kim we're going somewhere else. Uh, if, if Shadow gives the go ahead to, to like tell you, then um, I'll tell you. But um, I don't want to say uh, until then. Hello. What's up? What's up? What's so, up, Shadow? So I was talking with Neve, and my thought is, do you just want to base together? Because then the odds of us being online to protect the place are threefold, and we should probably, or at least like base close enough to each other that we can come to each other's defenses if necessary before extraction night. Yeah, I mean that that makes sense because uh, Sean and Robert are basing together. I I said that I am happy to bring him on, especially because of his utility with knowing how to make the extra hearts. Um, but I I didn't want to spill the beans, so to say, until uh, you agreed. So it's up to you. For me? Oh, I'm good. Yeah. Okay. For sure. Following that confirmation from Ghoul Boy, we headed into the city to pick up Lagundo from school. Hello, doggy. Hi. Oh, it's Grunts. And while heading back to the base, I came across something truly spectacular. Oh, yes. Yes. I just got a shulker. You got a shulker shell or yep. a shulker box? Shulker shell, and that's the second one I have. Yo! So after I died at the volcano and headed back to my base, I found one of these in the back of a car, but I didn't mention it because I thought the chance of finding another one is going to be minuscule. But now I'm fairly sure I am the only man with a shulker. So quite soon we found ourselves back at the underwater base and Lagundo asked to move in. This is probably the play if you're fine, like I'll go with the underwater Bond villain lair. <laughs> okay. The next thing Lagundo needed to craft this heart was a source of XP as he needed 35 levels. We need to set up a quick little zombie farm. We need an easy way to kill a whole bunch of zombies. Shadow mentioned that he knew a really good spot to get XP very quickly. It was right at the top of the volcano. Okay, just go over here, jump in this jump in this pool. They won't jump in. So you may notice that these zombies below me are slightly different to the regular zombino. That's because these guys are husks and they haven't been subjected to the health increases that the regular zombies have. They're still really fast and dangerous, so we do have to be a little careful, but they make for an excellent source of XP because they're easy to kill. During the day, we made some alterations to make the farm a little more more efficient, and within a few days, Lagundo had all the levels he needed. We're heading down to the base now. Lagundo is going to try and make his potion. All right, drink it. Let's see what happens. Did it use oh, all 35 levels? Yes, it all does. Right. But it go. works. It works. Fantastic. <laughs> it works. I can, I can stop hunting for irradiated apples. Yeah, we can make our own. This. Is what is huge. it? Spider eyes, and then like. 
35 levels? Spider, spider eyes, 35 levels, and a bottle of water. And it'll say it's going to craft an empty bottle. And as soon as you click it, it uh, it's like the gods shine upon your tribute. Quick, Shadow, look. now, 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 we killed the Gunda. <laughs> <laughs> Psych. <laughs> yeah. Please, no, I can't take the emotional drama. <laughs> I'm not going to lie, this has been a juicer of a day. We now have a group that outnumbers Robert and Sean, so long as Kim and Ryan remain neutral, of course. But we also now have the opportunity to craft more hearts than they could possibly get combined, so long as we get our grinding shoes on. The next step we had to accomplish was to set up our base for long-term habitation, and that included getting a nether wart farm going so that we could make some potions. To thank Lagundo for his incredibly useful information, we promised we would help him get to extraction. Now it's time that I get some serious grinding on. I want to get to level 35 so I can try and craft one of those potions. Currently on 9 hearts. We could do with 10. Sadly, after getting to level 35, I tried to make the potion, but I couldn't get it to work. The reason is I forgot about the water bottle. So instead I made myself a torture stick. I also used the rest of those levels to get some more enchanted items. Made myself a pickaxe and a shovel. You see, the only downside to our uh, zombie genocide farm is that the regular zombies can sneak in and they are incredibly hard to kill. At least for a feeble armed creature like me with no smite on my sword. So sadly durability is a big problem. And thus I am forced to do this. An act comparable to getting a million paper cuts and then swimming in lemon juice. I don't really like fishing. I don't know if you can tell. Didn't manage to get a mending book, but I did manage to find some other enchanting books. And so we can put this efficiency here on a diamond pickaxe. Next day, I went back to the aircraft carrier to get a closer look at that map we found, and just have a look to see if there's any interesting nook and crannies I could stick my nose into over the next few days. The hard part is, is all the nice places have already been looted. Didn't really see anything particularly interesting, but then I had an idea. What if I went back to my old island? and used my mind. I will definitely be very careful to check that there are no traps just in case they find it, but I figured the last thing that those guys are going to expect is for me to come back to the island that's already been compromised. Yes, this is what I need, the brown stuff. I broke the anvil at home, so we need to make another one. After a bit more grinding, I was able to max out my fishing rod, except for mending, but hopefully we'll find that soon. Well, the sun peeking through my curtains indicates that it's bedtime and the zombies are about to mutate again. Now, obviously I have no idea what to expect from the mutation tomorrow, but just in case they learn how to break stone, I'm placing these mob heads down. I saw Robert do it, and I think the idea behind it is that it's a very strange entity block, so it's unlikely that it'll get added to the list of things that zombies can break. I also put a hopper and an ender chest underneath the mob farm to try and capture as many ender pearls as possible. Gonna need a lot of those for extraction day, that's for sure. Later, while torturing myself, I came across something that was very interesting. A new fishing rod, and this one as mending. Yes, it would seem Poseidon toys with my heart once again. He doesn't give me a mending book, he gives me a mending rod. I did find a couple of other enchanted books while fishing though, and so now we can Anakin Skywalker those baby zombies. Just in time too, really, because it's the end of day five, and it's mutation time. So, Sneeve, I hear you cry. Why are you standing on a jet plane dabbing on zombies? Very odd question, I respond. Well, the reason I'm here is because Rob found our old mob farm and has rigged it to explode. So Shadow and I are standing here using this as a temporary XP farm. Also, since they found the XP farm, we don't know if they found our regular bases, so we're a bit nervous of standing in those. The sad part is we can't really fight Sean and Rob because we know that they've got tons and tons of grenades. And so if they drop them on us, we die instantly. Inspired by Lugundo, I was looking through the recipes that we could make in this mod pack, and I found that we could make an atlas. This is an item that could potentially allow us to see where Sean and Rob are when they were online. Only problem is, is that we need slime balls to make one, and I didn't know where to find any. Luckily, Shadow did. He mentioned he knows where to get it, but it's deep in the city, and Sean and Rob are online, so we're gonna have to be very careful we don't run into them. It's right here. It's on the other side. Oh wow, that's a lot of slime. Ow. Okay, so you grab some, I'll grab some, and then then we're gonna want to get out of here because of that. It's not a good place to be in. Look, they can't get through. Yeah, Sneeve, you got. <laughs> it's not a good place to be. Yeah, you're right. Let's Especially at night. I just miss, I just feel bad for leaving all that fresh XP standing in the doorway there. <laughs> right. I mean, you could have killed them if you wanted to, but no, I, it's going to get real hairy here soon. Well, how much time do you think we got? Like three minutes? What, until night? Yeah, because we can either bunk or just keep going. 
I think we just keep going. We'll be fine. Even with the baby zombies? And we can we can pearl out if we really need to. So you say we got maps? Maps. Yeah. Yep, yep, we've got maps. We made it to the water just before nightfall. Get good, Shadow. I calculated that perfectly and definitely didn't just um guess. We got back to the base and Shadow made the first atlas. Okay, I made it. I don't know what happened there. I blacked out. So, so turns out uh, the Atlas causes your game to crash. <laughs> yep, it just straight up causes your character to have a brain aneurysm. Now, I decided to give Shadow my shulker, as he is much bolder than I. I'm personally more of a narrow italic, but I feel he can use the space a lot more than I can. He also happens to be carrying the majority of our grenades and potions, so I really wouldn't want to die and give that to the other team. Now, I tried making the potion again correctly this time, but it still didn't work. I wasn't level 35, but it doesn't seem to be working properly. Later, after returning from an exploring run, Shadow said he found something very interesting. I have something for you when you come inside. I went somewhere where I don't know if I was supposed to go or not. Yeah. Do go on. That, Ooh. You can have that. Okay. And I'm going to give you a sword to hold on to for a second. <laughs> uh, and you can keep it if you want to, but I'm not using it. <laughs> oh. What the hell? <laughs> I just realized. <laughs> Gives you 10 hearts. Now you can keep it if you want. It's just is if you lose it and one of the other guys gets a handle on it. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking as well. Because we technically got all the power with the potion, right? But that doesn't mean you can't use it during extraction, right? Of course not. No, I would save it for extraction explicitly. Well, that was an incredible gift, but the gifts kept on coming. Shadow showed me a new XP farm that he'd made to farm the husks again. Now, with the ten hearts given by the engorged sword, I said, You know what, Shadow? Throw a grenade at me. My reasoning being, if I survive with 19 hearts, then we'll know how much damage the grenade does, and we could potentially fight back. Okay, 19. Right, I'm ready. Good? Yeah. Okay. Uh, I gotta get a little close. I don't want to miss you. Here it comes. Run into it. We then later did some more testing in creative, which would have been the smart way to do it, and we found out that the grenades do 34 hearts of damage. Re. Yeah. Don't go. Don't go yet. Don't go yet. Let 19. It, let it. So it's still a one hit. Yeah. Damn. Wait. The sword's gone. What? what? The sword's gone. What do you mean it's gone? It's not here. I don't have it. No. It must have had curse of vanishing, and we couldn't tell. Possibly. No. Oh, oh, that sucks. Well, that was well, dumb. Well, it was too overpowered anyway. Oh, that sucks. I'm on 10 hearts again, which is kind of interesting. In order to soothe my fragile ego, Shadow gave me a mending book to put on my sword. And to show you exactly why that mending book is so necessary, allow me to beat this zombie repeatedly until it dies. This is an iron sword with sharpness 5. There we go, 22 hits. Yep, when using a weapon that doesn't have smite on it, you may as well be tickling the balls of a rhino. So Lagundo has been missing for a few days, so I have decided to do some grinding and leave him a gift for when he returns, as we don't have very long until extraction, and I'm worried he won't have the supplies necessary. Just in case someone else managed to find the base, I left him a cryptic message. It is actually very obvious, it just says, Lagundo, feeling hungry? We need a farm. The riddle obviously just leads down to the farm that we already have. On the chest at the farm, I left another message informing Lagundo to not go to the mob farm, since Rob has rigged it to blow. I left him 24 gold blocks, a silk touch pickaxe, a multi-shot book, and some carrots. So essentially, he can bring his own ender chest with him, he's got plenty of food, and also he could make himself a crossbow. Well, the day's almost over, new mutation is right around the corner. We managed to sort out the heart potion problem, and I've made a bunch of these. It took a long time to grind these, but they play a key role in a plan I have for tomorrow. Well, it is the final day before extraction, and I am heading to the radio tower. It is time to execute my plan. Uh, hello? Hello? Hello! For anyone listening to this, I have an offer for you. An offer to die for! <laughs> There's a bee! There's a bee in here! Get out! Yeah. All right, here's the offer. Sean and Rob. If one of you kills the other twice, I will give the person claiming the bounty five extra hearts. Alternatively, if anyone else wants to kill both Sean and Rob, you can earn yourself five extra hearts. Good luck, boys. See you at the finale.
Now you may notice that I have no XP and I still only have 8 hearts. That's because I did grind out 5 potions to give someone 5 extra hearts. The radio announcement is simple. Sean and Rob have to kill the other one twice to be able to get 5 extra hearts. If they decided to play this, then they could get a net of only 3 extra hearts. However, if no one claims the bounty, then we know for sure that Sean and Rob are allied. You see, Rob paints himself a little bit of an innocent puppy. He was going, oh no, it wasn't me who set your mob farm to explode, despite the fact that Shadow saw him doing it. Shadow then informed me that Kim yesterday completed his bounty and killed both Rob and Sean. Yeah, bad timing. Uh, he could have gotten five extra hearts if he just waited a few hours. But Kim is now officially in the good books, and if we can help him get to extraction, then we will. Sadly though, Shadow's base was also found last night. My uh, volcano base was completely compromised. They didn't find any of the good stuff that was there, so I blew it sky high. And now I have another base. I got so many bases. <laughs> Shadow and I stuck around on the jet planes for a while, getting back to level 35. I then proceeded to restore my first heart. Right. Now we drink the potion. Yes, nine hearts. Yes, we have restored a heart. All right. Now we go back. I continued the process of getting XP to restore my hearts. I don't really have a set goal. All I want to do is make sure that I won't die. After an hour of grinding, I found myself back at level 35 XP and put myself back at 10 hearts. Okay, 10 hearts. Let's go. I then grabbed up my stuff and headed back to the aircraft carrier. There he is. Yeah, we have a problem. We have a problem? Yeah, someone's out, out there, so you have to be quiet. I made this hole, so we could pearl out if we need to. He's, uh, he's coming. What do you mean he's coming? He's coming. He's seen me. Do we make a break for it? I'm gonna go. Okay. I stayed underwater for absolutely as long as I could, just in case he had seen me get out. But eventually, of course, I had to come up for air. I found myself this little island here, and I decided to set up a little fishing pool so I could use the time until I found out exactly what was going on. The next day, I got a call. Steve! Hello, Sean. Steve, go, go for a swim lately, perhaps to cool off from that volcano heat. Dive down nice and deep, swim around a little. Personally, you know, I love swimming near the volcano. Uh, lots of interesting things down there. The volcano? No, no. No, I, di I died twice there. I'm not going back there. Well, then. I, I guess you won't be upset, but uh, I guess someone will. What do you mean? Someone lives at the volcano? Not at all. They get under it. A uh, cute little farm down there, a little, a little waterfall. And you think that's mine? Uh, it's someone's. They left you a note. XP farm compromise. Uh, you want anything about that? No. Um... I mean, it could be Kim. Where's Kim living? Factory. What about Lagunda? Not sure. I, I know he's near the airport, so he, yeah, why don't you give me a tour of where you rest your head? Um, no thank you. Uh, I choose life. I'm, I'm eager to talk. Are you? It's just words. Yeah, no killing. Uh-huh. And what do we have to discuss? A potential deal. Guaranteed extraction. Where's your house? I want to kill him. I think he's a volcano. What do you say? Well, first thing I say is, why do you think this underwater base is mine? There was a sign that was signed by you. Um, I could be keen to discuss the deal. Well, I can promise you safe passage to the helicopter. But you need to give me some info. I need you to walk to Shadow's main base and Lagundos. Also, for insurance, your base, if you agree. I will not attack you on or before the extraction. I will, however, kill your friends. 
it's a win-win for you. <laughs> they, they won't attack you it's when the helicopter win. comes. Yeah, I won't either. And how do I know that you won't just betray me? You can't for sure, but you just have to believe me. You're the only man I will offer this deal to, and they will never suspect you. What about my base? It will remain off limits. Have you rigged it to explode? This is your base underwater? If it is, I it's sadly destroyed. I apologize. You'll be reimbursed for your loss. That is, of course, if you agree. Oh, and the hit needs to be called off. Or you need to lie and say that someone cashed it in. The base is intact, but the chests were destroyed. You will be unharmed for the rest of the event. You'll extract safely, and I will never touch your base. No more living in fear. And what about Rob? He won't touch you either. Talking for me? You're right. I have no reason to hurt Steve and never have. I'll give you until sundown to think on this. What if I don't know where one of the bases is? Who? Shadow Mech. So you know where Laguno and Kim live? The sun is going down, my man. What you do right now will change the game. Listen, Sean, I can't accept because I don't know where they are. The deal is closed now. Good luck, Steve. There are more of us than you know. My man, you gotta die now. Look, I'm sorry, Sean, but as appealing as your deal is, you can't be trusted. And I'm not gonna betray my friends. It's a new world, Steve. Well, that was terrifying. Okay, I've got to be quick. I, uh, I don't know if they're out looking for me. Robert was trying to play off like uh, him and Sean hadn't been talking, but I'm certainly not buying that. So I'm planning on heading a little bit over this way to this little inlet over here. I'm going to go underwater again. I'm not risking them finding my base. For reference, this is my old island over here. All right, hopefully this spot will be safe for now. Let's get moisturized. This spot looks weird, but I'm making it an entrance. I don't plan to be here very long. This is just a storage area, really. And there very long, I was not. My friends told me in the morning that they found something interesting by the stadium. Hello. After a short period of time, the boys turned up and we began talking about extraction. Hello. Hey, Sneef. As I didn't have an ender chest with me and most of my goodies were in the void, Shadow brought me a new one. I had my Silk Touch pickaxe in there, which was kind of ironic. The zombies are now extremely hard to kill, very fast, they hit you very hard, and they follow you for miles. So needless to say, I am, uh, I'm quite happy with the alliance that we formed. Now, however, that said, someone told Sean about the base. I don't see any other way that they could possibly have found it. it to me, either Shadow or Lagundo had to have told Robert and Sean. There's no way that they came across that base organically. So there are two working theories, aren't there? There's the Lagundo theory and the Shadow theory. The Shadow Fury, I, I just can't see it. I, I cannot see Shadow betraying us. He had so many opportunities to backstab me and steal all my stuff, and he just never has, so it just seems very unlikely. Lagundo, however, Lagundo had been working with Sean and Kim. An alleged spat occurred, and then all of a sudden Lagundo's with us, and within two days, Sean has found our base. Not to mention when Sean called me, he wanted to know where Lagundo's new base was. So he knew that Lagundo had moved and Lagundo told us that that base was never compromised. We had a look in Sean and Robert's outpost. Sadly, due to the rules of the zombie apocalypse, we're not allowed to damage or steal anything unless they were online. We also had no way of knowing if this was their current base or a past base or just a watchtower. So we instead turned our conversation to our personal plans for extraction. Nobody, including Sean, knows where the helicopter is going to land. What we do know, however, is that the helicopter is going to land in the northeastern third of the map. Obviously, the airport is the most likely spot, but there is also the spaceship and the military base. So we needed to choose a location to which we could get to all three of those easily. We decided to go with the mountain because it is equidistant to all three locations. In order to get to the mountain on extraction day, we decided to move to a temporary base nearer the mountain this residential area down here. God damn it, I hate this terrain. We got up onto the roofs, placed down an ender chest, a brewing stand, and a couple of storage chests for items. We also put down some water and an anvil, just in case we needed to prepare some things last minute. <laughs> we did suffer a little bit of a zombie problem, but we're not gonna be here very long, so it's not worth fortifying the base too much. After we'd done making up that little temporary base, Shadow and I mentioned to Lagundo that we were going to be heading away, okay, bye guys. as we had forgotten some stuff at our old base. Little did Lagundo know, we weren't planning on returning. Shadow had constructed a temporary base built right into the side of the aircraft carrier. It is very, very secure. We didn't know 
if we can trust Lagundo, and we cannot run the risk of Sean and Rob finding our final bases before extraction. And the reason we don't plan on going back for Lagundo is because we can't take the risk of Lagundo betraying us before we can get to the extraction site. Now I had intentions to go and find my own secret base before extraction night, but before we split I had an idea. You see the grenades are lingering potions, and from lingering potions you can craft arrows. So I wanted to see if you could craft grenade arrows. And as it turns out, you can. Now we were told we aren't going to be allowed on the helicopter if we have any grenades on us but they didn't say grenade arrows. Now Shadow had two totems, so we offered to be a lab rat for how well the grenade arrows work. And sadly, they do absolutely no damage. However, they do give some pretty debilitating debuffs. Oh, whoa. <laughs> whoa. I'm also slow too, right? After sharing all of the gear that we had prepared for the extraction, I headed out and said goodbye to Shadow. I was going to be doing some more grinding, but he wasn't going to be on until tomorrow. So I went off to find my new base. <laughs> Look at all these guys. You're so dumb. I wanted to be quite close to Shadow, so I am very close to the aircraft carrier. This looks like a pretty good spot, so we're going to dig here. Oh done. Yes, this'll do. This'll do as our final base before extraction. Just got a place to sleep. I'm gonna be doing some more enchanting, so that enchanting table is gonna come in handy. I plan on making a couple of potions for us. To avoid the notice of Rob and Sean, we're planning on swimming underwater for as long as we can, as soon as extraction starts. So I'm going to make us some underwater potions. And now begins the largest grinding session of my entire life. Besides Cookie Clicker, that game is electronic crack. We're gonna grind out as many hearts as we can, and we're also gonna try and grind out a sword with sharpness, for the simple reason that Smite won't work very well against people. There's the jinglies, we are now level 35. Let's go get a heart. Okay, first extra heart, let's go. Ooh. Alrighty, time to get my grinding pants on. This is gonna be a long night. But we've got a big day tomorrow. So here we are, extraction day. I've cooked up some night vision potions and got up to 14 hearts. Those night vision potions are gonna help us a lot while we're swimming underwater. I managed to save two of the heart potions I was gonna give out for the bounty I put on Robert and Sean. I'm planning on offering one to Kim in the hope that he will join our side before the final battle. I've decided to take precautions though, and I'm storing my stuff away before I go and meet him. I told him to come to me by the destroyed island, and to come alone. Initially, Kim tried to get me to come to him, but my trap senses were tingling, and so I insisted that he come and meet me. I'm sure Kim wouldn't have done anything, but I am not taking any chances. While I was waiting, Shadow turned up and said he wanted to act as my bodyguard, but I told him to stay back. I said I'd meet with Kim alone. Okay, um, can't use totems though. It was like totems and grenades are now banned. Come on, Kim, where are you, my boy? Oh, there you are. There he is. I swear I thought it was boats here before. Uh, hey, Sneeve, uh, how's it going? Hey, Kim, I've missed you. I'm a little on edge, if I'm being honest. Are you, wait a minute. Are you going to kill me right now? No, 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 absolutely not. Quite the opposite. Why did fact. I see so? I saw a shadow or in the background or something. What? Where? I guess him. Uh, no, listen, no, Kim. No, 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 no. This is a trap. I don't, I no, don't no, trust no. you. No, 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 it's ab absolutely not a trap. Um, I, I'll no, float no, no. out to you if you want. Look, I'm, I'm not even wearing any armor. <laughs> this, this beetroot man is not going to take you down. All right, no, Kim. No, 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 no. Where's your boat? Uh, it's on the other side, I think. 
I'm out. I don't trust you, Steve. No, I'm no, sorry. no, Kim. Listen, this thing I have in my hand, you want it. You need it. I don't even know what it is. I no, think... you're, you don't seem to care. I, I'm freaking out there. And you're, pre <laughs> you're pretending like it's nothing. No, no, Kim. So that, Kim, that's, listen, that's... listen, listen. All, all I want, all I want, okay, from you is just to give you this potion. That's all. I don't want to give you any, I don't want anything else. <laughs> Kim, get <come> back here. <laughs> you don't understand, Sneev. I'm scared. No, I'm I'm scared as well, Kim. This will help you with your scared. No, you aren't scared. You're I like, oh no, don't worry about it. You're like, no, it's nothing. You're it's all in your mind. Kim, don't you bob away from me. <laughs> here, Kim, uh, Kim, you're take you need me out. this, okay? You need this. Let's uh let's uh let's go on let's not No, over here, over here. No Sneev, are you I'm just I'm gonna put it on the boat, Kim. Okay, you just grab it. I can't reach it. Well, <gasps> you, you, bind you, bind you, bind you, Sneed. What? Look, let's, Kim, you're freaking me out. <laughs> Have you got the potion? I'm, I'm picking up now. Hello, boys. Shadow. Have you got yes. it, Kim? Have you got it? No, I haven't got it. Oh my god, Kim. <laughs> what's he? What's he trying to get? I'm get. I'm giving him something that will help him. Shadow, where are you hiding? I'm not hiding. Yes, I saw you. In the trees? Yes. Well, because I seen you guys together, and I was like, uh, I don't know. No, 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 no. This is a trap. I no, it's not. It. It's not a trap, Kim. Kim, please, for the love of God, you need this potion. You can drop it now. I'm putting it. I'm putting it on oh. the. Here, you see where I am, Kim? Where are I? My base. Okay, there you are. Okay, Kim. Okay, there's a, there's a lot of zombies there, so avoid them, Kim. But grab that. <gasps> but why are, you, why are you guys hiding? I'm so scared right now. Because I I, I don't want I to die right before. I want I want you. I, want, I, I came at him. I, I want you to be on our I side. I came out of my base that way. Oh, you have a base there? Yeah, I have a base up there, and then I seen you two, and I was like, oh, is that Robert? I want, Ow! I want, I want you to make it to extraction, Kim. That's why I gave you that. I, didn't, I haven't even looked what it is. I'm just like, I had to be like laser focused. <laughs> <laughs> You're wide. <laughs> okay. No, I just, I, I just thought you were Robert, Kim, so I stopped. I don't trust I Robert. You, I, I thought also it was Robert. I said it was, it was like, Sneevy didn't have any reaction. I told you it was someone behind it up in the woods, and he didn't mind. So that's why I think this is a trap. Oh. Listen, no, I, I'm, I a, bee, I'm a beetroot trap. man without a chest plate and leggings. If they want to kill me, I'm gone. <laughs> Steve, you're a crazy man. Yeah. Well, Listen, Kim, we got to deal with Sean and his traps. The last thing I need to do is fight other people. Potion of aggregation. What does that even mean? You remember we were talking with Lagunda? Uh, about making apples? No, no, not apples. You can drink that potion, Kim. No? Drink it now. I hope you won't kill me. No, I wouldn't. It won't. I, 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 want, I want you to get to... Promise. See? Nice. Ta-da! Well, that's pretty good. It's pretty good, he says. <laughs> bit of a... <laughs> bit of a... Bit, bit of a watered-down reaction right there. Jesus. <laughs> oh my god! I can't believe it! I got, I got a heart! <laughs> that's more like it. Jesus Christ. Okay, listen. I, I've got to go back to the island because I've put some of my stuff near there as a insurance. Thanks, Kim. Uh, remember who your friends are, and we'll see you at extraction. Yeah. Take, take me back to the island, Shadow. My God, you're Hold like on, the I'm taxi. Just, you're like the taxi man. The meter's running, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. I'm just. Uh, I'm gonna get him. Uh, I got a boat for you. Stop hiding. I'm not gonna kill you. I promise. Yeah. yeah. He's AFK. There you go. No, no, he's he's, AFK. What, no, like, it's Rand. I just threw it. So. Nice. Yeah. There you go. Oh, that's so much better. Promise, Kim. Hundred. I'll give you a thousand bucks if I betray Shadow, you. Shadow, get back to the I'm island not, right I'm now. Not, I'm not here. All right, sorry. He was typing. He might have been typing to Robert. Oh, no. You think? I don't know. I, 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 I'm not taking any chances. I gathered up the stuff that I had stored before meeting Kim, and met up once again with Shadow. I was wondering when you were coming. I'm All here. Right, so, we got the extraction. Northeast. Before we headed northeast, I gathered up all of the craftable arrows that we made, as well as the last dose of Super Soldier Serum. Shadow had found one more dose, and he gave it to me to use for extraction. A smart idea not giving it to me earlier because I am a lemon probably would have died. After gathering up all of the supplies that we needed for the finale, we headed out. But we had one last pit stop to make. We've decided to go back for Lugundo. Hey. Hey. Not gonna lie, y'all were making me nervous. <laughs> no, we just, we had to, we had to stop sneeze real quick. He needed to get, um, a ah. couple potions or something. Oh, y'all making me super nervous. Okay, so here's, here's the lowdown. Kim is still sketchy. Yeah, no, no shot. Yeah. Uh, Ryan is kind of a, we don't really know. Ryan's a wild card. Yeah, and Sean and Robert are definitely together, so. Yeah. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Um. Hey, did anybody claim that bounty that you put out on them? Uh, no. But the, one of those hearts? No, <laughs> sorry. I, 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 oh. I, I, I would have. I, I actually wanted to bring you one. I forgot. I'm sorry. I don't have them with me. Oh, no. <laughs>
Sneeve. What? <laughs> Are you reading chat? What was it? Sneeve, my man, now is the time to... <laughs> Alright, let's uh, we should probably get going here. Wait, 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 end of chest, end of chest. No. no. Oh! <laughs> and they, they can announce it at any minute and then we're kinda... <gasps> yes. We're gonna run, we're gonna run right... That was, yes. that, that, was, that was the last potion from the bounty. Perfect timing! He says as he attacks us! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's, let's head out that's, because that's they can announce stuff. it and then we'd, we'd be running right in the traps. Because we were Russian. All right, let's go. I thought about bringing Leroy to the extraction, but there's no way. No way he'll survive. No. I might tank a hit for you. <laughs> yeah, one of Shadow's hits. We made our way to the top of the mountain where we were going to wait for the helicopter pilot to make his announcement. Oh, I can still see you. That's so cool. I never even saw that thing. The spaceship. Oh, those children are still coming after you, Sneed. My God. <laughs> It's like, Daddy, I found you! <laughs> They're not coming after me anymore. They'll be doing macaroni sculptures in heaven now. <laughs> yeah. Part of me wants to be, like, more near a point of interest, because it sounds like it'll be on a POI. If we go down to that snowy area down there mm -hmm. and move east, we'll be kind of in the center of the two likely spots. Snowy area and move east. Snowy area and move east. Yeah, we'll be well, he just means the, airport. The, the snowy like area the, to the north. Like the mountain extends yeah, yeah. north, right? And follow it east. We yeah, be we should. Central to... We'll be centered both, and we'll be coming from the back. Once this guy. <laughs> this guy. This guy. So slight adjustment to the plan, but we are now going here, and now we sit in the calm before the storm as we wait for the helicopter pilot to make his announcement. We're dead center, basically. Whenever this thing gets called, we just either run to the military base, that wait. spaceship, or the airport. Sean started taunting us in chat that he was at the airport, so we headed down there to see if that was true. Terminal 3, where's Terminal 3? I mean, I'm not gonna go in there. We had a look around during the night, without entering of course, but we couldn't see them. Oh! Oh, oh! In front of the military base! Let's go, let's go, back. In front of the military base? Can they be a little more specific? <laughs> I thought they were gonna be specific. Yeah, 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 it is. the helicopter. Okay. Pearls. A pearl under a tree? Yep. Nice. <laughs> oh, I see. I see Sean. He's to the left. He's to the left. Oh, yeah. It's Sean and Kim. Oh, yeah. Of course, your team. They're going to pearl. Kim has a pearl in his hand. They're, boys, what they're pelting us. All right, let's go. We got the zombies on us, so we're gonna have to move in. We should pearl in. Hey, boys! Guys, get off this roof. Where is Kim? Sean's gone. Get off the roof. No, it's too all right. Just because he'd be underneath us. Where is Kim? I don't know. Gosh, I got hit with nausea. Yeah, I, I accidentally hit you. You hit me? Yeah. Okay, let's. I'm. I'm just gonna go in. I'm gonna be quite honest with you. Left, 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 left. No, 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 no. I'm out. You're good, Jim. You're good. Get on the helicopter! Got him! Got him! You got him! John's down! Yes! Husks are a problem! It's alright, it's alright! Kim's on the far side! They're, they're together though, we need to go in with two of us. Husks! Calm down! Oh my god, the frame rate! As soon as I hit them with an arrow, I'm going in. Okay, I'm shooting. Behind you, behind you. They're up there, behind you. Move. 
move, she moved. Where'd he go? You guys know? I cannot see anything. Quick boy's oh, dead. dead. He's dead. Rob's dead. He's dead. He's dead. dead. Rob's dead. Rob's dead. Don't from a high place. Kim? Kim, you don't have to do this, Kim. Over. We can escape. What are you doing? What are you doing, Kim? You betrayed us. You're with them. I'm not done that. I swear. I heard you. What should, I, what should I do? I've been playing both sides. Oh my god, the husk. 90 seconds, 90 seconds. To where? Is it the helicopter? I presume it's the helicopter. Now we just need to kill Kim. Oh my god. <laughs> oh. Yes! Did he die? We got him. <laughs> uh, guys? What? What? Guys, help. What? Help. Where are you? Okay, I'm in. I'm in. I'm in. I'm in. I'm in. Okay. I'm in. Hey, I'm in. Hey, boys. Hey, Ryan. Hey, Ryan. Him come with us? Yep. Sure. Ryan, you mad? That's right. Man.